Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to play a game with those good <laughs> old ear holes? Ear. My name is Trasnell, the hashtag number one fanboy of Hoffman. The number one. You're the ranked number one. Of course. Fanboy? I'm the only one on the on forums. The forums you were deciding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, by myself, yeah. Uh, I am the insurance agent, Dylan Lewis. <laughs> I am the Taylor's Not My Game Field. Yep. Right. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. It, it, it works, I guess. <laughs> this is what happens when you watch them the day of. I like my six month early thing. You, that's why she watched them, just to get nicknames ready. Six months yeah. to get the perfect <laughs> Yeah, I had to have time to think about it. Uh, I'm the... Uh, mm. Box opener <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> box opener. Very cool. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not guess from those nicknames, but if you haven't guessed by the title, we are reviewing every Saw in the franchise, leading up to Jigsaw, which is only out by time this comes out, like, a week away, not even, I think it's just, uh, just over a week, like a good eight or nine days before Jigsaw releases, so you can go back and listen to them all, we've done one to five, we're doing six today, the penultimate of the original Saw series, Saw 6. Six. Dylan Musk, what do you think? Because I've been wanting to hear your opinion on this. Yeah, I uh, I don't think I have the answer for you because I don't really know how I feel yet. Like, oh, wow. I like I I did like a decent amount of it, and but there's some things I'm not a fan of. The, the, I think the big thing with this movie is there's a lot that goes on in this one. I feel like, uh, and it kind of you know it goes all the way back to you know the first movie, and I don't know it goes it just goes all over the fucking place. Like mm -hmm. it's it's kind of a mess a little bit. But, I don't know, I liked, I liked some aspects of it, so I, I don't really know how I feel yet. I'll, I'll find out by the end of the cast, for sure. Um, I liked it. Uh, I liked, you know... Shocker. <laughs> it, it did jump on so many different points, and I thought it was... Um, it, there were some moments that I shouldn't laugh, because it's not a, a movie you want to laugh at, because it's, it's disturbing, but I laughed at a lot of moments. Sick person. <laughs> um, which, we'll get to those moments, and I can't wait to, because they, they were funny. Uh, anyways, I like the movie, and I think, uh, it's gonna be good to talk about it. It's definitely, uh, a step in the right direction from the previous one. <laughs> Their second last one is a step in the right direction <laughs> after all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Jessica? Uh, I will start out by saying this is one of my, like, favorite opening games. Mm. I love it that, like, watching her hack off her arm and dropping it in is prime. Like, you know, it's a good one. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this movie overall, though, I, I really feel like I missed some stuff in it. Like, I feel like there was a lot going on, so I'm not 100% sure that I connected all the dots that they were trying to uh, get us to connect. But it was cool to get some answers, you know, the note and the box and, um, you know, adding some connections that they probably thought of on the spot because... That's what this movie does. Mm -hmm. um, and I did like that there was actually some traps in this one. It wasn't like, you know, some of the other ones like, okay, s stand in these tunnels and they're the, you know, nail bomb's going to go off. There was, it was actually, you had to work for it. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. These people are drinking crazy saw because this is the best saw since saw one. This one is fucking so good on so many levels. First, gotta shout out Hoffman. Hoffman is the G in this movie. The things that he do, definition of badass. He's amazing. He's fantastic. Jigsaw and a man like a man who's back. That's great. The Jigsaw flashbacks are actually like worth something. And I think this is the reason I also love this is because I was so mad about Saw 5. We talked about Jigsaw flashback really mean nothing. And they mean a lot. You see a new like relationship, like a new edge of the relationship with Jill, with Amanda, with Hoffman. You haven't got that, I feel like, in many other the flashbacks. Saw 4 is about the baby and I was like, okay. Saw 5, he's just kind of there. He actually has a purpose here. They do lots of new stuff. I think this is kind of Saw 3, but done better. because, And it's funny because Saw 1 is like Saw 4 and Saw 5 is like Saw 2 in a way. Like, Saw 3, this thing I, I didn't care about Jeff, but I like the idea of, okay, going to these different traps and having like, objectives. I like William quite a bit. He's not my favorite of all these characters, but I liked him and I liked the story. And they tied it into John Kramer, which was good. So I like that. 
Some of my cons are, I think there's some actors that are not the greatest, as usual, saw. And there's a lot of traps in here that are my least favorite of... There's some cool ideas, but it's the classic that I don't like. Somebody has to die no matter what. Especially the carousel one. That one always makes me mad. Because I get it. There's the game of like, oh, you could talk out. But with Saw 3, at least, you could talk to him and still survive. No matter what, four people have to die. You know, And I never like traps like that where it's like, no matter what, somebody has to die. For me, it's like, eh. That's when we're getting past that point of like, does this really make a fair game anymore? The thing that bothers me about that one, and I remember it bothering me the first time too, is he doesn't even try to save. Yeah, I actually, two. I have a theory that the, the yeah. he could have saved all of them if he just put his hand yeah, on I, the button each time. That's See, what I thought See, I too. doubt that because... But at, why wouldn't you try? What? Uh, maybe it wouldn't let him after two. The only reason I doubt is because the first trap we start off is that trap with the smoke grants. Like, well, no matter what, he or the smoker has to die. There's no at one point Jigsaw's like, oh, and you could have worked together or done this. Like, every trap before that, somebody has to die. So that's why I think, because yeah. he's the whole, like, like the whole insurance <coughs> agency thing, right? So I think Jigsaw's moral lesson was, oh, you have to physically, like, kill someone now. And, like, instead of just sitting behind a desk. Yeah. So I, 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 I disagree. I don't think he could have saved you. I think Jigsaw was like, oh. Four gotta die, and they're on this carousel, and... You're allowed to have that opinion. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the right one. No, but I I love this one. This is... This, to me, was such a breath of fresh air, and I remember leaving the theater. Fans were happy. Critics were, like, still somewhat not happy. But this is... I think it's, like, the second best Saw reviewed, or it's, like, the third after, like, the original trilogy. And I remember leaving just being so optimistic about the future, and I, I love most of this movie from a horror standpoint. Lots of great stuff to talk about, and Hoffman is just... This is the movie I super fell in love with Hoffman. I like them all, but, like, oh, that scene where they find, the, with Jigsaw's voice, and they're splicing it, yeah. and then they say, oh, and then you hear his voice, he just takes out that knife, and he slits his throat, and he throws the coffee. Dude, the way he, like, slices his throat, It's so too, cool. <laughs> so fucking weird. That was, like, a video game, like, counterattack. He looked like an Assassin's real. Creed character, he but, really like. He did. He had the wrist blade and all. As somebody that knew it was coming, you see him in the middle of the scene preparing stuff, like getting the coffee, you see him put his hand in his pocket, so like he knows, like, okay, I'm screwed here, and then when he gets to, like, the poor little Asian girl and uses her shield, and then he yeah. kills Perez, like, that scene right there is top five favorite sauce scenes. I love, it's so intense from them splicing the voice, and everything Hoffman does this movie is fucking great, and I can't wait to talk about it. It should have just been called Hoffman the movie. Hoffman the <laughs> movie. Where do we want to start with, uh, so, well, actually, I want to start, because Dylan, you didn't think she was coming back, I want to start with Amanda. Were you, were you caught off guard? Because we I tried to downplay that as much as possible. Well, you kind of spoiled it last time. Did we? Well, I was like, you, I, I, I don't know if Amanda and Hoffman, like, I, I'm curious if they knew each other, and you're like, I don't know. It's like, well, what am okay, I well, supposed to say? You're I not mean, supposed to say, and there's no way you can cover that, <laughs> but, yeah. but you did kind of spoil it. So yeah, I said you'll find out. That's all I said. Right, I tried well, to play it as coy as possible. You gotta work on your coyness. Oh my! <laughs> then I, it, I I don't care though. Like so <laughs> I, I was I, I was happy to see her back because I liked Amanda back in the day. I think she's a great example <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> yeah, just all two weeks one ago. Month ago. <laughs> yeah. I, I think she's a, a great example of a character who's like incredibly flawed but really interesting and really well done. And then the actress does a really good job of portraying that character. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously that character, uh, in a lot of ways, is like on the opposite side of how Jigsaw is and how like calm and cool he is. So I, I don't know, I've always liked Amanda, so I was glad to see her back. And I, I don't know, they kind of just draw up like a scene like with her chilling with Hoffman. Like that, I, I guess I kind of was hoping or wanting a little bit In more. the car? No. Oh with, no, okay, no, the middle it's one, It's the yeah. scene when, when she's like wheeling jigsaw around and then he they're just like in the same room and it's kind of like oh all of a sudden they like that's a confirmed thing that they know each other yeah and i don't know i guess like i kind of maybe wanted a bit more like i, I do like their scene i think mm -hmm. the way like the little comment he has like it has a lot of tension in there and, it, sure and it's good that. but i i almost maybe wanted more of that like yeah. i think i think they could have like all three of them doing stuff together i think would have been a really interesting dynamic because jigsaw is kind of just the mastermind and both of them are trying to just like appease him and be his favorite or yeah whatever right well, it's almost uh, like a father, like son daughter relationship. You sure, get this yeah. like vibe when they're just like when she has once again she, her emotions good when she has that piece of metal and she just like tries to scare off him and he's yeah. just like standing there like watching her. Like I agree, I love that's one of my favorite scenes. But now that you say that, I could I could have took a lot more scenes yeah, of them yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, cool. And yeah. I I think I I think it fits really well with the other movies. Like the way Amanda, I think after Hoffman has that scene where he. I, 
can't remember the comment, but he, he like lays that comment down on her. And then the way she, she says something about like you haven't taken a test. He's yeah. like, I don't have to. And she's like, you gotta get used to me because I'm sticking around. He's like, yeah, you yeah. sure about that? Right, and then he right. just like yeah. walk, he slinks away as Hoffman stuff. He yeah. sneaks away. Yeah. yeah. I think the way she kind of acts to Jigsaw after that, it fits really well. If you think back to Saw 3, yeah, mm-hmm. Saw 3 and like all the interactions between her and Jigsaw, like I feel like that makes so much sense with this added information. I think that's what this movie does well for the most part is, is like everything that it goes back to and calls back from like the earlier movies, it seems to all fit for the most part. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I was, I was glad to see Amanda back. I'm not sure yet how I feel about the dynamic of her and Cecil and being Cecil's like lover or yeah. whatever. I, I, I think, I think it adds something to Saw 3, obviously, because it makes, it makes, so much more sense why she was so against the nurse, whatever her and name going was. a little batshit crazy there at the end. Yeah, and yeah. why she just shot her, which <laughs> like it, it it did make sense enough, but this kind of like reconfirms it and doubles down on that. Mm. So that that part of it makes sense, but I mean, I never liked that scene when that guy just crashes through the door and it, like kills their baby, and I, don't know, I never liked that scene anyway. So yeah. I've like, seen it like three more times. <laughs> like that's I think they do the, flashbacks. They do a lot yeah. of flashbacks of like the same thing a lot in this in this movie, but like this movie felt like it was like two and a half hours or something. Really? I don't know. It felt long to me. It felt longer than the other movies because it was so dense and it kind of went through a lot of the other movies and it flashbacked a lot of the other movies. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that that's how I feel about Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I will add something before you guys grow. It's something I'll pull to a field quote. It irks me so much in the theater. The scene that I hate so much. So it's one of my biggest cons with the DVD version of this. They edit this movie so much. The very first scene with Amanda and Cecil in the car, like starts off the movie. That was non the theatrical cut at mm. all, and I don't like that because right away you're like, oh, why is Amanda with Cecil? It was so much better when I saw it in the theater when. They had no connection whatsoever. And that but was, you can't tell it's Amanda in that. Yeah, you can. She, she shows her face. I could not tell. Oh, yeah, no, it shows her face. So that's why, because it was just like, oh, exclusive Amanda mm-hmm. scenes being added. I also I, forgot who that guy was. I was like, he looks oh, familiar. See, fair, yeah, fair but, enough. Yeah. So for me, I guess then it does, it, it, it's fine then. But I think if you pick up on it, I don't like it. And I'll, we'll get to it later. But the ending is a lot different editing wise and it bugs the holy shit out of me. The ending's so much better for the actual cut and the DVD. Like nothing changes as far as outcomes. It's just editing and music and scene choices. It's like hmm. in, in Saw 4 when I tell you guys like, like Hoffman you actually see him get up and he like reveals himself where in the DVD he just walks over to Riggs and he's like game over. And it's like where'd he come from? You know like yeah. it's stuff like this. It's super strange. They do the law on that. So I want to add that then the theatrical cut that scene with Cecil and Amanda is not there at all. Interesting. Yeah. Very weird. Amanda. Uh, I wasn't expecting her to come back, but you know, it was it was always good. Like that that scene where they just dropped her in with Hoffman. Like I was like, it's like when you're walking down the street and you're like, you see someone you may recognize, you have to look back. And Is like, that Amanda? Oh no, I do recognize that person. <laughs> um, it was, but it was. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! That <laughs> age old feeling. We've all been there. Um, but yeah, like it, it, it was a very. I, I, I How do you was... feel about the babies thing? How do you feel about her being incorporated? Because Dylan seems a little offense. How do you feel about that twist? Do you remember the twist? Not really. Wow. Yeah. So you don't. So Cecil, <laughs> you remember who Cecil is? Cecil is the guy in the clinic where Jill works, and Trump he's the one who slams Cecil. the door that hits the baby. Oh. And then you find out in this movie that her or him and uh, Amanda were lovers mm. of some capacity and they she, were obviously in the car scene at the beginning of the movie that they flash back to she was the one that forced him and then to she kind of cowered in the corner she's a him on with crotch grabs and, and, and what was your question how I feel about yeah yeah uh, which I thought you when was the last time you watched this movie Taylor Field it was a while ago, so I just his turn. It was a while ago, for you. <laughs> like years, like uh, like a couple flashbacks ago. Oh, okay. Well, no, I was asking your opinion on that because obviously there's new characters of May, but that's like the biggest like that's like a classic like trilogy thing. At the end of a third trilogy, you always learn something you never knew, you know, like True. and this was that moment where it's like, oh, it's been there the whole time, but we just added it, so. Do so you remember how I felt about the scene where Cecil smacks the door open on? <laughs> no. Baby? How does Amanda's involvement in that? Does that help? Does that help it? Does that hurt it? Because like Dylan said, he's unsure how he felt about that. How do you feel about that? Because that was that's one of the bigger like things you learn in this movie. Like you, it changes her and Jigsaw's relationship yeah. completely. And it now. changes a lot of motivations in Saw Three. Yeah. As well, I don't think they. It was something that should have probably been mentioned. I feel like it was a scene that they could have. Tr- 
They could, they, they like, they could have, like, them just kind of wasting time with an actual scene for that, I feel like it wasn't needed. They could have done it in more of a low-key kind of manner. Oh, I'll disagree like. with Do you that. mean, like, like, done in an earlier movie, or, like, in the third movie? Bef- yeah, before this movie, because, I mean, like, the one we just watched, I feel, you know, there wasn't really a lot of flashbacks in that. Like, so, yes, it was centered around, like, Hoffman's origin, which makes sense, but, I mean, like, this goes to show, like, this movie is about Hoffman, but they yeah. incorporated Amanda in that sense. So they could have sure. had, again, like, the other movie, which is about Hoffman again, they could have incorporated Amanda into that, and, like... See, that I disagree, because Saw 5 is about him, like, kind of becoming their jigsaw. This is, like, the green, the, the green, the ground falling beneath them, and it's, like... I don't think that scene would have fit there because this is about all the shady stuff Hoffman's been doing and how he's been doing his own little games. Where in Saw 5, that has nothing to really... Like, that scene would feel to me out of place because the note comes back in this movie, right? And, like, Jill and the box and the envelopes. Like, nothing like that happens in Saw 5. Yeah, so. but like, there's this whole series of things being out of place. Like, Amanda seeing the note in Saw 3 and you kind of go, oh... But it's not out of place because it's just something that they left as a, oh, you're going to find out about this later. And we did, right? Because yeah. it, it might have less impact if we knew what the note said right away. Because now for three movies, at least, it was like four years, people were wondering, oh, what's on that note? You know, mm-hmm. where if you just say, oh, this is what's on the note, you're kind of like, oh, well, who's Hoffman? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, right now he's just a forensic analyst touching that guy's body. Mm-hmm. That guy's body. <laughs> yeah. Jessica, what do you feel about Amanda and her, her return in the series? Like I said um, before, not remembering what happened in this one, I could tell that there was obviously involvement with Ho- her and Hoffman just because of uh, Detective Terry. So, but, yeah, I know it's been said, but I just, I love that scene with them, the whole, um, you know, one's your game, oh, I don't need one, get used to me, I'm sticking around, are you sure about that? Like, I had a note, I just, it was so good, that interaction. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually didn't mind waiting until now uh, to find <laughs> out about the note. I think that, uh, it's, you know, it, like I was saying, it kind of gives that buildup of the aha moment of what's going on. Like, you know, the way Amanda, like, shoots Lynn, it's just so, like, half-hearted. Uh, shoot to the side and you kind of watch it and it's, it was really weird, but now it's just kind of like, oh, you know, there's motive and you can understand mm-hmm. it a bit better. Uh, so, and I don't necessarily... I don't know, it doesn't bother me that she was connected to Cecil mm-hmm. because, I mean... That was one of the reasons, probably, that she was even tested in the first place because of her drug addiction, which was, you know, all kind of tied together from being at that clinic. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you would assume, anyway. Well, yeah, and then even yeah. then, you look at Cecil, like, it made sense. Like, he put him in a trap. You'd imagine Amanda would kind of be next on that hit list of, like, oh, these are people I want to get first. And we know Jigsaw was always like, oh, yeah, it's about value of life, but there's always, like, a, like, a selfish aspect oh, to it, yeah. right? When it's yeah. like cops or these people that kill my baby. Like, it's always, they're always like, there's always, always like, quite a, fraudulent. <laughs> yeah, there's always an asterisk by it of like, oh, do, like, Amanda, I'm sure belongs here, but is there a reason she's like fifth first, you know? Yeah. But, and I think that's it, yeah. That scene where Amanda and Hoffman were kind of interacting, like, how, with Hoffman's response, I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts, like, oh, I don't need a trap or whatever. Yeah, because this bugged the shit out of you last podcast. You're like, oh, Hoffman doesn't have traps. It's well, like, fair. he grabs Amanda's wrist and is like, I don't, like, squabble my life or something. And, like, would you guys talk like that with Jigsaw right there? And, I mean, he's. No, but that's the point of Hoffman. He's such a badass, he doesn't care. But he's he super fucking confident. Yeah, yeah, but that's what killed, well, not, well, whatever, it hurts him in the end. Like, his, his, his arrogance and, like, it's like the pride before the fall, Do right? Do you feel like that was a test that maybe Amanda was supposed to kind of instigate that a little bit in front of Jigsaw or do you think mm-hmm. he, she was doing that so that Jigsaw would see it kind of like just like I look like, mom uh, I'm better I think some something. of that conversation is kind of like under their breath so it's intended that like Jigsaw doesn't actually hear that whole conversation and he's like sick and he's just <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like dying over there clearly you obviously get a hint that he's listening because he pulls oh, his mask out and he's like yeah. I know what you guys are I mean he has about. a plan he has a backup plan and he has like 500 other backup plans for like <laughs> yeah. every possible scenario where one of them turns <laughs> And then, you know, I, like, he has the whole web That's what he's out. doing, his equations in his yeah. head while he's listening. Oh, I gotta make more tapes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Back in the studio again. Yeah, I think that's an honest moment between those two. I don't think it was an actual game, and I think that's why I like the scene. I think Jigsaw takes stuff from it, because I think it, this movie, I think you start to see Jigsaw have, like, kind of bias or more when it comes to Hoffman, but it's like, yeah. at the same time, it's kind of like this. That's why I love this movie. It intrigues me, because, like, 
Hoffman, that's part where he's like, oh, you really like brutality, don't you, Mark? But it's like, you kind of made him into that because in the first movie, he didn't even want to watch that guy go through the barbed wire. But now Hoffman's like just dumping Timothy on his head and yeah. he's like making his traps more violent. Kills people. Like, yeah, yeah. He, like, he violent. Yeah. yeah. Like physically, just like, yeah, with the knife. And that's thing for me with Hoffman. It's like, I imagine that was always there after his sister died. Like it was like it was a flame, but like Jigsaw sure came and threw a bunch of logs on it, you know? Yeah. And that's why Jigsaw to me is it's still a great character because he's still a hypocrite where it's like, you're the reason he's like really messed up now and he's liking this, you know? And now he's like, oh, I don't know. And it's just like, and it doesn't seem like he was going to have a test until he got Amanda, right? And that's where Jill comes in. I think he well, was like... I think that's part of where the confidence comes in for Hoffman and why the confidence, like, compared to Amanda's is because he feels like he has a lot more value to Jigsaw because... He was well, first. He obviously does. He's like, yeah, he's on the inside and he has access to, like, all these files, all these people that Jigsaw mm-hmm. wants to kill and he, he just has more access in general, whereas Amanda doesn't really have anything like all she has is jigsaw right yeah and so i think hoffman's kind of milking that as well and he obviously he knows that and i I think he's maybe like kind of confused about why jigsaw is even why he even has amanda around well he he, i don't think he really cares that much well even in saw five though we got him when he says that he's like oh why do you need amanda in this game like you get this vibe and even then he is full on just trying to get rid of her with the note, you know? Like, I don't think that was Jigsaw that said, write this note and see what Amanda does. I think Amanda had a game, and Hoffman kind of, like, rigged her game because he knows that, he knows Amanda's a super emotional person, and he knows that Amanda's going to shoot Lynn because she doesn't want yeah. Jigsaw to find out about her killing his, like, unborn son, right? So Hoffman, being, like, the piece of shit he is, is like, I got to get rid of her. She's getting on my nerves. I'm, maybe, and he's maybe, I think, even a little threatened by her, even though he won't let it on. But that's sure. his way of like, oh, I'm going to write this note, throw it in a thing, and Jigsaw will never know because he's dying on a bed again. So And, and that's the other thing that's I was kind of curious in this movie is, like, was his plan, was Hoffman's plan with Amanda to get Lynn killed and, like, have Jigsaw die as a result, and then he would kind of be free from, like, Jigsaw's yeah. reigns because if he, never thought about that if way, Jigsaw yeah. died in that manner, then he wouldn't be, like, it's, responsible for that, right? It would have been him. out of his yeah. hands, so therefore... Whoever or however that informant that like, yeah will release the information on him, like then he wouldn't be tied to that, and he could kind of he yeah. could continue to do the jigsaw thing if he wants, and he's pretty like fucked up at this point, so he probably would. Yeah. Or he could just go his own way and be kind of clear and just blame it on strong and get away with it. Well, that was I guess like it's kind of his plan. It's a little murky because like with this will trap, you can see it's like oh, it's Jigsaw still, yeah. like, he has a few last traps Hoffman has to do, but it is that thing of, like, okay, once he gets past these last few traps, is he just free? I don't think so. I think because he just likes it so much now that he's, like, into it, but I, I never thought about it that way, but, yeah, I think because the whole mana dying could result in Jigsaw dying, and then for me, it's just, like, he just, either way, he doesn't have to worry about that, because even then, one of the lines I like in that scene, like, we keep talking about so much, but there's a lot in it, is when he's just, like, when he's doing the measurements or whatever on the rack, and Jigsaw's like, oh, like, the torque's off or something like that. And he's like, ask me next time. And he's like, why does there, when are going to stop being a next time? Like, Hoffman asks him, like, why do I got to keep rechecking with you about, like, what's going on? So I think there's, like, with Amanda, with also being blackmailed, and with this thing of, like, now he feels he's been around for a while. If you look at Saw 5, he's since with that guy the barbed wire. So he's been around for yeah. most of these murders or traps. So it's like, I think he feels a little owed at this, like, legacy and kind of like, okay... Why is the man there? Why do you keep checking on me? And I think it is just like he tries to make this, you know, full sweep, like, oh, you can get rid of everybody, he gets rid of Strom, and then that's why, like, we'll continue later on, but, like, it all starts to, like, really blow up in his face, you know, but in a great way. In a great way. Yeah. Where do we want to go next with uh, this this masterpiece of the film? Uh, How about we hop right into William and his Mm -hmm. storyline? I I think for me, like, acting-wise, sometimes he falls a bit short, but I still think he's more interesting than like your Jeff or your Riggs yeah, and, I agree. and watching him go through like all of them go through their journeys I think Williams was more interesting uh, maybe just based on like what was actually happening but I think also just like I don't know the acting of it as well yeah. and he has ties to Kramer right so yeah. that's always fun and... yeah I, I don't know like oh. that's, well, that, <laughs> that scene with him and Piranha. him and not that scene the one okay. where they meet I don't know where they met they met at the clinic because he's clinic, just right? like I come in to support Jill or something like that. Yeah. Like William or something. Yeah. Yeah, and they have that conversation, and I, I think for me, 
the reason I, I wasn't a fan of that conversation was because Jigsaw always has like a very interesting way to say things and he I don't know it's like he's like talking in riddles but he's like not too obvious about it but I felt like that one was a little a little too forward like I was just like this guy's a fucking serial killer. Like, he's so obvious about it. Like, he's just... <laughs> he's literally talking in riddles, and he's just talking about death. Like, this is... This is too much for me. Like, I feel like he lost some of the, like, subtle nature that he kind of has with his... He always has, like, little hints of... And he'll, like, throw special words in there that kind of mean things if you think about it. But I felt like that one was just way too... <laughs> like, this guy should have saw it coming. Yeah, like, I... I don't know. I, I That's why that... I didn't like that scene as much. Because it wasn't... It, I don't think it stood up to, like, the rest of, like, the kind of lines and script that Jigsaw had. Like, I felt like that was written by someone else who hadn't done the rest of that stuff. Like, yeah. it seemed like someone else had come up with that. I agree 100% with you. I don't like that scene, but for a different reason. One, he does literally just say, like, oh, people don't know what they're capable until they face death. Like, he's just, like, saying that to him in a random conversation. Yeah. The thing that I don't like about that scene is the timeline. That happens before his car accident. He doesn't get this. Does. Men- yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't get this mentality mm. of like, oh, you can, fa- you can conquer everything once you face death. He doesn't have that till after the car accident. So it's like, really, yeah, that that does make it a problem. As it well. ruins I didn't, I didn't that even scene. Know that. Yeah, it doesn't make sense because he's still with Jill, right, in this moment. So that's the thing. Right. That scene doesn't make sense at all. It's like, so you already have this mentality before <laughs> you like tried to kill yourself. Like that didn't make sense. So. That scene right there, I like the scene later on when he tells him, like, you're not covered, but yeah, that yeah. scene, yeah, should have taken out. It doesn't make sense. It is poorly written, but yeah, it doesn't make sense at the time at all, because then it's like, oh, well, then this guy was maybe messed up all along. Like, not there wasn't this, like, oh, the cancer, car accident, baby. It's just like, oh, he's kind of just a fucking weirdo, which I guess so, but that's not how yeah. Saw, like, so far is portrayed, right? They portrayed, like, all these events created this guy, where now he's just like, hey, you know, death. And how so. much of a fucking weirdo is he? Like, <laughs> Like, I, I, when I was watching that scene, I was picturing what it would be like if Dad, I was just, like, there? if I, no, if I'm just, like, you know, like, at fucking Tim Hortons or something, I'm going to get a coffee, <laughs> and there's, like, this guy, and I'm like, hey, man, how you doing? Like, have a good weekend. He's like, so, what is it like to live? Like, he just starts, he just like, immediately gets into this really fucked up conversation. The death like, claim is this guy? Like, this guy's crazy. Yeah. And, yeah, it, it makes even less sense if that was before all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to talk more. The thing I do like about William, though, is, like, Jeff is kind of supposed to be a sympathetic guy. Riggs is, w- like, with William, they don't really make him sympathetic to start with. Like, he's kind of a piece of dirt. And then as it goes on, you maybe feel bad because he's, like, gone through these traps. But I like that because it didn't feel like, okay, this guy, sure, yeah. once again, I don't know if he deserves to be there. It's a job. This happens all the time. It's more just, like, well, maybe. personal. That's why he's there. Yeah. It's the baby thing again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the asterisk, you know, because then that's. In that realm, then he should be going after the president, you know, Jake. So, like, if he has that much problem with health insurance, sure. like, Obama <laughs> should have been in that trap, you know? <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> Hoffman versus Obama. He has to, like, kidnap him and, like... Yeah. So, I like that aspect, that he's kind of a garbage guy when we meet him, so... Right. Yeah. Um... We're, we're, we're talking about whatever William, you want right? to talk about. William. Because I feel like the conversation drifted about How come every time we've gone to you, like, have you ever been on a podcast? We always do. <laughs> and you got to go with it. You got to ask like, questions. I forgot if we're still talking about William or if we're talking about Jigsaw or talking about the conversation. You got to bail like, to the viewers that we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We just sit down and start talking. <laughs> well, stuff. Jigsaw had ties to William, so talk about anything you want to concern him. We can talk about the traps and stuff, but just that, whatever you want to talk about with okay. William and his scenario, his situation. You know, I, William, I like him. He's no Jeff in my mind, but I mean, you like Jeff more than William. Kinda. Oh my god. Kinda. How long ago did you watch his movie again? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, he's never seen it. That, that's why he's asking all these questions. Like, what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> I don't want to ask it though. I think, uh, I, I won't lie though, I think William, you know, he was definitely, I feel bad for him in his journey he had to go through, but I mean, he definitely... This is the most vague answer to ever. <laughs> yeah, it actually is. Yeah. could have said this about any character. <laughs> this is fortune cookie shit. Right here. Oh, your life will change in oh. a good way. <laughs> okay. I like that character and the stuff he went through. I'm, I'm trying to think just what to start off with with William. I mean, like, I really like the dialogue between him and John Kramer in some scenes, like, when he walked into his office and was giving him, like, heckling him and, and shit, like, a bunch of... Heckling? Wait, it wasn't heckling. Wait, who was, who was doing the heckling in your opinion? Jigsaw. No, 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 he was just presenting... He wasn't heckling here, you buddy. <laughs> like, if he was heckling him, he would have called security and he would have been gone instantly. 
hey, you give me that insurance. Hey, will you? Like, he outside, like, no, he had a case. He's a customer. He's a client. Yeah. I, 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 well, I like the points he was getting across about, like, life and just, like, how, like, his, like, his, his decisions are, like, choosing to, like, let people live or die in this sense. And it's just like, oh, like, he... And especially the part when he was like, oh, you have such and such cancer. And he's like, well, that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, you just sit up very sly, don't you? That was, really <laughs> was dang right slick. I yeah, do like that. Man. I yeah. thought it was slick. very cool. And it goes to show like more of the sense, like, this guy's a fucking serial killer. Like, what the fuck he is he doing? Like, he's not at that point, though. He's no, still but I like... mean, it definitely, I, at least someone's talking like that to me. Like, after mm-hmm. that conversation he had with you at Tim's, I mean, I'd be like, <laughs> just, just <laughs> getting out of hand. Behind me. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, but I mean, I feel like um, well, you said we we're gonna talk about the traps after. Yeah, you can. Uh, I, sh- I don't know. Yeah. Whenever. Um, the podcast too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I I just threw it out there. Um, I I don't know. I think the the traps were really good, and based off of him and like his decisions, I thought it was really interesting. I the one thing I I didn't like was when um, I thought like how it started off with his trap at the beginning was interesting, but when I went to the got to the point where he had like the lady that. Dude, like had the family and everything, and the guy that had like no ties, just a regular the John loner. Blow, like myself or whatever. Like they literally just show pictures of him, just like sitting on the side, walk like alone. It's like they're, they were taken by a professional photographer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like Jason's like taken sh- by uh, the guy from Adam. Adam. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> 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 it probably was. He yeah. has his whole whole hard drive. Yeah, I just um, thought he's like make him look like a loner, and he's like make him look like he's no friends or whatsoever. Well, I I didn't like that because like the two like with Jeff's scenario. The people yeah. that were thrown in there, they they did something to wrong him in a yeah. sense. But this was just this guy was just buying his own business, running his novel at Starbucks. Well, no, the thing is though, all of the people in all the traps that he had to decide all worked for the company that screwed over Jigsaw. That's a secondary. I didn't, oh, well, I didn't know oh, the guy did. Though. He did because he's like another assistant. Does the janitor deserve to be there then? He's well, just he wiping was, the fucking floor. No, he he smoke because he smokes. He smoke. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> Well I, remember, <laughs> well, I remember that coming out. I saw it with my dad, and when he laid out his trap, my dad literally like, gasped and sighed, like, oh my god. Like, literally, like, we're running out of stuff for Jigsaw yeah. to find guys for. Like, he's getting people, he's, my dad doesn't even smoke, which is like, he's getting guys for smoking now, which, like, at the end of the day, I saw those Emily, it's like, well... I've always been on that perspective, like, well, you're not dying your life, because if you're smoking, you know, like, you are killing yourself, yes, it's it proven is. science, so it's like, it is like, you are killing yourself slowly, well, it is a little bit much of the trap, and same thing, he's just a janitor, he should, he doesn't know what's going on in the dog pit or whatever, he's just yeah. wiping the toilets, like, leave him alone. <laughs> to be fair, like, it, like, it's, it wasn't, like, some person who's just regularly smoking and healthy and swung in their life, it was someone who had the high blood, high pressure, blood pressure, and <laughs> was told that, and is yet still, ironically, smoking. So if you're healthy and smoking, but you're fine, we got health. The thing that irks me is that trap. It's so unfair for oh, him. I know! He already has bad lungs, and he's smoking, and it's like, oh, you gotta hold your breath. My favorite thing was, like, hold your breath, and then it's like, okay, and then what? Like, I know that's no trap, but he, like, said it, like... I guess the hope that, like, if you wait long enough, they unlock the trap. Oh, and... my favorite was, he says that, and then right away, they shoot to the clock, and it says an hour, and it's like, good luck, guys. <laughs> Especially, the janitor goes so quick, he's like... <laughs> like well, maybe, little... maybe the clock was behind the janitor, so he couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, he, he had hope when William just yeah that's the thing I the think the clock only has one minute on it you can do it <laughs> <laughs> you're almost there buddy oh like even there's a scene that's weird he like slaps the janitor on the shoulder like hey Hank and the janitor's like what like it's super strange it's not, I, I saw that I was like this guy's getting fucking killed <laughs> <laughs> this guy's dead I will also his name's Hank and he's a janitor he's the most classic <laughs> oh I know I will say they are very flawed but I like the actual traps themselves I love that the breathing trap is completely silent until they take their breaths in. Like, something that Saw is so overbearing with sound effects and, like, heavy music and, like, yeah. score. This, I love that moment. It's just quiet. You hear, you even just hear, like, like the plastic of the oxygen masks, like, moving. It was really well done. I really, That's why I do like the movie a lot, because the traps, I did feel they made an effort to be, let's try to make these as different and as unique as possible. Yeah. I haven't seen them. Like, I don't like the aspect of the carousel trap, but the idea of it's cool and the visuals of it is just even Visually, the bomb. Yeah, for yeah sure. the bomb is like the swirl Billy Puppet has. Like the trap's very cool. So on that first trap, though, first of all, I will say that I did hold my breath to see if I would win. And for I, an hour? No. <laughs> yeah, for the whole hour I held my breath. 
Beat you, Hank. <laughs> I did beat Hank. I just wanted to shout it out that I would have survived against Hank. I think we. I hope we all. Would How many breaths would you take? Because William took two breaths, I think. I don't know. I think he only took two breaths. It's about the, the size of the breath. Mostly. Yeah, I think he took two. Because then you go. You'll, you'll be fine the whole time. Well, possibly. <laughs> possibly, because it only with the thing at the bottom a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You know. It's also about the exhale too. You can't just like breathe in yeah. and hold it. You gotta like slowly release. Mm-hmm. You know, release that pressure. It's a big, it's a big strategy, but the thing is, you don't get to practice it, and then if you mess up, you die. So it's yeah, in a really tough way too. Your rib cage just gets. Doesn't matter. I won though, so broke. that's all that matters to me. Yeah. So sorry, Hank. Poor Hank. So uh, we know what <laughs> trap you would pick from this movie. Well, <laughs> yeah, the trap <laughs> is <laughs> Hank. Yeah. Yeah, we should play that, but with not Hank. You know, like we'll put the Geekers Janner in there. Hank needs <laughs> so Taylor. So Taylor. So and then the other thing about that is, so like you're saying, it's really silent. Uh, and there's a light just on him. But then as soon as the light turns on and you see Hank, Hank's just like, rrr, 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 and it's like, <laughs> did he just sit there silently in the dark the whole time while he was listening? He thought he was sleeping. Uh, I, I don't think we see him wake up, though. We see William wake up, but I don't think we ever get to see if Hank wakes up. It's the same thing I thought always about with Dr. Gordon, though, right? Like, they turn the light and Gordon's like, hey, who are you? Like, it's like, what was he doing this whole time? Like, he's right. just like, I was in this room, like... That happens a few times where they wake up on like the like the on right cue. on cue. Jigsaw's so like done enough dosage of like <laughs> some Adderall. And the something. actors are not to blame here. It's the, <laughs> it's the storyboard people. R. I. P. Hank. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any, Jessica? What were your feelings on William before we continue with the traps? Because you didn't talk about William. Did you? Were you a fan of William? Uh, I definitely did enjoy him more than Jeff because I found going yeah. through this, uh, I was making the he same kind of decisions to see you know, comparative of how William was answering. So I thought it was kind of interesting that it, you know, it's hard to feel the same about a judge that didn't do anything to me, but to be able to like, oh, would I save a young person or someone with a family to be able to, you know, that's more of a decision that it doesn't have necessarily a bearing on him per se. It's just based on perspective. Mm -hmm. Sure. So he could have just let them both die and be like, well, you know, I made it fair and walk away. Could have. You know. Just joking. You're, you're not wrong. Or he could have just kept walking, lost his one hand. He could have exploded. I guess I forgot about the hand part. Yeah. So. Yeah. True. Uh. Yeah. Um. I do like though as well. In the beginning, like you definitely feel like he's a sleaze bag. Like they make it sound like he's cheating on his wife in the beginning. Yeah. Really smartly, they put that phone call in with like, "Oh, I'm missing your birthday, honey," and that's just like a sister later on. Yeah. But yeah. They do a good job. Well, of and, it. The, and the looks that the girl in the office give him while it's happening and. <laughs> Stuff like that, it, you know, they do a good job of making him seem like a sleaze bag, mm-hmm. but then, you know, as it gets farther into the traps, you kind of start to feel for him. You know, he's starting to learn that he's a dick bag and not, you know, trying yeah. to be a better person. So I do like that perspective of him as well. Is you want to hate him, but as it gets farther in, you have a hard time mm-hmm. trying to hate him. And then I feel like once you like him, they're like, okay, and then kill him. You know, that's what I liked about it. It was like with Jeff, it was just like, okay, I don't care. And Lynn is like, all right. But right, it's like, oh, I'm cheering for this guy. It's like, oh, needle's coming down. Yeah. <laughs> Game over. I know Going in a really bad way, too. Like, maybe the worst way anyone's ever gone. <laughs> I know it's torture porn, but I absolutely love the end when his legs, like, fall down. <laughs> it's intestines yeah, just come everything out. Everything just boils out. Yeah. It, I, Soupy mess. Well, I guess we'll get there, but. Brothy. I do brothy. have problems with kind of everything that happens at the end there. Like, really like story-wise or, like, logistic-wise of how that would work? Because I've always hated that, like, what if he ducked? You know, when he's like, suck at Jigsaw, or like... notice that when he stood on the thing and a light went on, so he stood off <laughs> of it. Like, oh, I step on this and a light goes on, maybe I should back up. Yeah. Or, I think in his head he's like, I did it, I won, I'm safe. I mean, that's true. Because when he gets... <laughs> well, when no, he, gets he knows, he's like, oh, it's not my game. Well, when he gets through the door, too, he's like, I did it, I won. So I think he... Who is he, Harry Osborn uh, from the Spider-Man? I mean, this is... Uh, he is, actually. I did it. The thing with this character is, I, I'm not sure where his, like, uh, I guess where his perspectives really are. Because when you first kind of have these, like, scenes to figure out how he thinks about, like, what he's doing and what his business is. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, I made, I made the algorithm that determines whether or not... And he didn't seem, like, yes, he's kind of sleazy, but he, I don't feel like he had the perspective well he obviously didn't that he like his actions are like directly killing people and i don't know i think that's that's the interesting thing is 
uh, about these traps is that he's like face to face with people and their lives as opposed to hiding behind this you know ignorance is bliss sort of mentality that he has. Yeah. And I'm sh- I I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks he's he doesn't think he's a bad guy. Like right, he even says like oh it's just business. Like it's mm. uh, obviously it's like I think it's that he says that when he has like those two uh, like levers to decide who is gonna get hung. But yeah, like. I don't know. I think that that's an interest, really interesting thing to look into because he really didn't think of it that way, and I don't think it's because he's evil. I think he just wants profits. I like More whatever than. his life circumstance. Like he just didn't think of it that way. He just yeah. has like a different perspective of it, and obviously, it's quite the uh, humbling experience, if you will, until he dies. But well, it's a huge like play on morality. Like back to the people yeah. like hanging. Okay. It's in that aspect, in his job, probably the young guy is going to get the coverage and have it live, right? They all already played on that early in the film when they turn down the guy and it goes out and he has the family and everything like that. It's like, this person may have more valuable life as far as people counting on them, but because his structure, well, you don't get to live, this person does, you know? And that's what I think you see that's like, um, like spun on its head for him is like, mm-hmm. oh, in my job, this guy would clearly survive. But as I'm sitting here having to make a personal choice and see them face to face, I'm gonna choose her because she's with kids and fathers and all this. So I think they do a good job of that. So that's the thing, even no matter what, even if he's kind of a good guy or a complete dirtbag, I think they do a good job of throughout the movie, you see situations where yeah. this is how he could evolve right. into not becoming this person if he were to survive these traps. You know, like he that's why to me he felt like he had an actual arc and growth where like Jeff and I even like Riggs, but Riggs really doesn't because they don't give him a chance to, he's just always running Jeff. Just feel like, like Jeff's whole thing is about forgiveness, and he doesn't forgive anybody. You know, like I don't feel Jeff. Jeff wasn't changed at the end of Saw Three, and I guess that's maybe the point of the movie. But I did feel like William was changed, but mm. unfortunately, he's, does, he bites the dust. So. He does bite the dust. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Like, you know, it just—he actually feels like he evolves by the end of it. Yeah. So, that's definitely one thing that I like in him over some of the other characters that we've had. So. Mm-hmm. And he obviously like makes all these sacrifices. Like he doesn't even think twice like with him and hank obviously he doesn't know how long he'll have to be in this thing you can see the clock but it's still like i don't know he's trying to live and he's trying to help hank out yeah so he lives and then he has no problem like having that needle go through his hand and then even like all the times he has to pull on that lever and just get blasted by hot air mm-hmm. he just he does it again and again yeah so yeah he's a cool character mm-hmm. yeah well even you know like yells at hank like hold your breath, so, you know, try to help him out, yeah, well. <laughs> That's the most he can hold do, your really. <laughs> well, and Good then luck. with the, the trick with the key in his stomach, too, like, he even says, like, I'll get it out, I'll get it out, you mm-hmm. know, like, he's trying to help oh, yeah. Yeah. everyone yeah. he can. So. I, I didn't, I don't really, that scene really rubbed me the wrong way, though, when she just, like, picked up that, oh, someone's I'm hungry. so hungry. Uh, <laughs> oh, when, my God. When that, uh. You distracted me, Taylor. Damn, <laughs> suck. When that lawyer, <laughs> when that lawyer <laughs> picks up, picks up the the handsaw and she's like trying to kill him, like I don't know, I, I, I did not like that scene. I, I, I wish they came up with a better solution. I don't have one off the top of my head, but I wish they would have done something to come up with a more interesting s- scene there and one that didn't feel so overly cheesy and like poorly yeah. por- choreographed and whatnot. To me, that's why this is very much like Saw Three because it's very much like. <laughs> The judge, when he saves the judge, it's like, how are we going to get the judge out of there? Well, at some point, Jeff's going to turn a shotgun on and it's going to shoot him. Same way as this. I was like, oh, right. Like, for some she survives. wonder what's going to happen now. It's like, oh, there's a key and she has to get it with, like, 20 seconds. And she's, like, sporadically swinging the saw around. It's like, even if you're trying to kill him, like, why? No, you just got to go like this to guy. You don't got to be like, ah! Like, it, it's a really cheesy scene and then she just gets killed. Like, it did feel like something they kind of rolled themselves into a corner. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, she'll survive, but we don't really know what to do with her. So I agree, that always sticks out. It's kind of like a, eh, it doesn't really work in this scene. And I like the actual maze, though. I like, I like it too. Like, that's the thing. It's, it's, it, it does a good job of building up tension and making mm-hmm. this, the whole scene interesting. Even if it's kind of just the same thing over and over, but yeah, it's just the end of the scene. It doesn't really fulfill that tension. One of my favorite ones too in that scene is she's like sitting in the corner. She's like, "I'm stuck," and he's like, 
oh no, like, go, you can do it. And then he, like, grabs the lever, <laughs> and, then, and then she starts crawling. She's not even at, like, the hot air yet. Yeah, she's not even at the hot air, and he goes to turn it off. And it's like, why wouldn't you at least wait for her to crawl out of the corner before you start sticking your shit in there? To be granted, too, sometimes she was crawling really slow as well. She was just like, oh yeah, I'm going. It's like, you are bear rolling. You gotta be doing somersaults. Like, don't go so slow. You know he's yeah. getting burnt. Like, even them yelling, like, hey, you gotta go because I'll also get really hurt. She was just like, come on, do that thing again, do it again. He's like, oh, okay. And <laughs> he gets burned. And then... Yeah, she, she's a weird character in that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, we didn't talk about, like, the hang trap. I don't think there's much to say there. What? Chime in wherever you Chime want, in. man. I, I'd love to talk about this trap because, like I said talk all the time, it. it really fucking irked me. I think this chick, okay. she got it coming. Um, she had it coming? She had it coming. You know, at the she beginning. She got it coming. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning, you know... She was like, yeah, you know, you got to save this girl. Like, damsel in distress. Like, he was very noble, and, like, he took the he sacrifice. He take on damsel in distress. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he, he sacrificed a little bit there for her, and she was going through, and he really tried. You could see it in his, like, his emotion and everything. He was giving it his all, and really felt for him, and I was really cheering on for this girl to win. And, like, you know, if that was me, like, yeah, you could probably just, you had, like, at least 30 seconds, you could probably have figured it out and, like, got the key out in a good amount of time. This x-rays was th were there, you could see exactly, like, pinpoint its longitude latitude in your body and just go for it. Easy. I don't know if I can um, do that. <laughs> I don't know why I could do that. But, <laughs> yeah, me either. Like, as soon as, like, she, it, it just, it's, it really showcases human nature where, like, oh, like, your savior is right up there and he can help you get through this. So, yes, you're gonna just, you're not instinctively you're gonna be like help me help me and he's gonna help you and you get through and then all of a sudden your life is put back into danger and it's you have to get it from your savior again who's now all of a sudden like kill your savior like it's just so it just really uh flushes out this that human nature and how quickly like your emotions and your instincts just turn and like your savior turns into like your enemy and just he she's trying to kill him and i thought oh my god what are you doing you bitch just Whoa. it she really pissed me off because they could have worked together they could have got out of that but like she's just oh like of all things she grabbed the saw i'm sure there was like a little screwdriver to like poke in there and stuff but i mean she grabbed I don't the know saw that sure. maybe the like punks. grab like a maybe there's a magnet or something and like go like that like oh I don't my know. god <laughs> i think there was just a saw i think there was just yeah. a saw Wow. I think that's the point of it. She done fudged, if I may she say so. Uh, I'm kind of actually surprised that he didn't do anything with the key earlier. Like, he sees that there's these x-rays of a key in him, and he's just like, I'll just leave that in there for now. Did he see the x-rays of the keys? I thought he just saw his wound. I thought that was in her little room. Yeah, I don't think... It yeah, room? all I knew so. was like, I got a wound, and then Even just... though that door was unlocked the whole time, so he could have <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, hey, we could story. plan this. Yeah, because I don't know... I guess her timer probably went off when the door closed. I guess classic saw, right? I imagine so. The door, like her. The door to timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like to get uh, like the, this, whatever shot in her head. Sure, yeah. Yeah, which I think was kind of like a callback to Saw Four with those people with the spikes in them. Because remember, yeah, that girl's cleaning the gun and the random medic just like, gets shot in the face. So there's a few callbacks in this movie. That's quite a bit. I like them all. Um, do we have anything to add on the hang trap? I kind of like it, but it's pretty quick. It's pretty. The one with like the two lovers. Yeah, yeah. Who the would you guys? Bottles. Who would you guys save? I'm saving the old lady every time, you know. Every time. Every time. Unless the guy How many times are you planning on being in this situation? Oh, too many. <laughs> I don't value my life. I, I eat I eat chips on the weekend, so mm. that's probably hurting my diet. So I'm just like, oh. And I'm thinking about getting a nice cap right now, so you know, yeah. poison my body. <laughs> poison. Yeah. I mean, I would probably pick the old lady, too. I mean, that's kind of what they want you to pick, I think. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd pick it. Yeah. And plus, the other guy was quite a jerk when William didn't pick him, you know. Well, can you play? I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> the thing I noticed, too, because I, I didn't notice at first, but their, like, noose is actually just, like, barbed wire. Yeah, it's, it's fucking sick. Brutal. Yeah. It's fucking sick. It is. I, yeah. like, I like that. It's better than just a yeah, metal. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> the one thing I will question that scene, so she's there and he's like, whatever, Anne or whatever her name is, like, you gotta find a way out, I gotta keep moving on. Literally, it's just like, that barbed wire, this platform, then below her, all we see is black. Oh, fucking dead. So, like, I don't know where she, when he's like, you find that, a way out, and like, I kind of thought way? when he left the room that it would just, like, drop her anyway, and she would die. <laughs> That's kind of... I also, I really like when the when the puppet just, like, flies out the window and, like, kind of spooks <laughs> And the puppet's talking, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, so maybe Jigsaw will just be about her trying to get off that platform the whole movie. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Yeah, like, exactly. 127 hours. Um, carousel. We've talked about it a little bit. I love this trap. Other than, like I said, 
the four people are going to die. But I love the idea of the, I, I like the idea of them putting these people against each other who, for a living, they call them the dog pit, so they're always, like, nipping at other people, right? They're always after other people, and the yeah. whole time, you see just how it evolves from just being like, oh, I'm pregnant, like, no, she's not, she's a liar, like, oh, I gotta take care of my parents, like, they're not sick, like, in a second, they alter each other to, to survive. No one in there is Well, yeah, really... I mean, it starts with them just... You're talking about themselves and like you know we're you're, we're good friends I yeah, work yeah. with you I'm your best employee and then yeah the way it turns quickly into them turning piranhas if you will and just kind of yeah like, even piranha. in the beginning too they make a note of how they all work together every day and like they're constantly they're a unit uh, yeah exactly unit. so it's kind of interesting too to see them have to break apart from being that unit and yeah. turn on each other mm. so but. I definitely don't agree with the people he saved. I'll just throw it out there. One thing, I don't, I agree with one. I don't know why he saved the blonde chick. The girl with the kids, that makes sense, right? She's the only one with kids there. That's fine. And that one's not a lie because they know she has kids. So everyone was kind of like, okay, he has to save you her. You don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't know why he saved that. She was the one that said, oh, my parents are sick. Let's hope that girl that said I'm pregnant is not actually pregnant because... Well, I guess he's dead, so he's not gonna care about. It. I was gonna say. Well, that, that one guy got really mad when she said that. I, I'm wondering if he was like maybe interested in her, and then she <laughs> kind of rejected him. I think he got mad because he knows that's not anything they can throw up, right? Like us yeah. as males, we can't say. And I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, well, like you're dying. You're you're a full on liar. I don't like that. But yeah, I don't know why he says the blonde chick. I get why he says the parents, but. I love the actual trap. It's very right. cool. And at one point when they six show it... Six people saw six, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. That was the poster. And at one point, too, they have, like, a cool shot of it, like, looking like a circus carousel. Car carousel. Like, they put, like, a filter on it, and there's, like, carousel music playing. So, it's really cool. Like, visually cool, and the idea of the trap the, is cool. The thing that uh, kind of confused me, so, like, obviously, he has to put his hand on those two buttons to activate it. I was, like, I thought he would pick, like... Like, he'd hit each button for each person he wanted to save. So I was kind of surprised when he hit, bo hit both at the same time. I was like, no, you just, you did that completely wrong, man. There's two yeah. buttons. You saved two people. Well, I was wondering if there was, like, enough room to, like, sneak both your hands in. And, like, that way you... Jigsaw's made really something, down. so then just cuts I off that. I don't think I'd take that risk. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. One of my hands going to get fucked up. I'm not going to risk both. See, what I would do is because he, like, got stabbed, like, <coughs> it looked like in twice in different spots. I would have just made it so I got stabbed in the same place again. So it would hopefully... Yeah, I would have left my hand in the same spot. Yeah, and then, yeah. so hopefully it would just go right through. And, like, it would sting a little. Like, you're going to like, oof. But, like, oof. <laughs> but, like, it's That's not... Than an oof, you're not going to, you know, have another hole in your hand, which you chose to have. Two whole Williams. I still think you Williams. gotta try again. I just can't believe he didn't even bother to try it. Bugs me. Because what happens if he tried again? It did it, and it just didn't save people. Because you're so well, like, you still, idiot. I, you saved what's two. the worst that happens? He saves two people as opposed to saving two people. Like, well, yeah, but then he doesn't get to pick. But then it's also but like then he also let's say he has to get another hole through his hand, and he saved nobody. So he's just injured himself again yeah. for no reason. I think that's a worthy trade. Yeah. Well, because uh, I think here's the thing: if he saves the first two people, okay, he saves them, but then he saves no one else. That sucks. He still saves two people, even though he would have saved two people anyway. And I feel like this way, it kind of takes some guilt and, like, blame away from him because he's like, I didn't make the choice. I was trying to save all of you, right? As opposed to... I guess, but you gotta look at this. Because this way, he, like... It, it's a switch of perspective. That way, he's like, I, I saved two of you and I, I can't do any more. I didn't know that. Whereas if he chooses two people, then he's kind of killing those other four people. Like, he's, well, that's, he's making the choice. Yeah, I think that's As opposed point. to kind of taking it out of his hands. Because let's say he in his mind goes, okay, 100%, I want to save the mother, right? Because she has kids. But then if he's testing it out, what happened if he wasted the two on testing it out and then the third's like, oh, I can't save him and then that mother dies, you know? So I think that's the way I look at it. It's like, you could risk it, but at the end of the day, do you really want to save this guy over the guy, the girl with kids? So that's where it's like, well, I better wait till I'm saving the two people. I don't know why he saves the blonde. I think he's trying to, you know... That's a great. That's a great yeah. way to hook up in the future. Like, yeah, I did save you, you know. So like, <laughs> I, I I think that's his mentality right there. But I I think that's right. why it's like you don't know because if it doesn't work, then it's like well, no matter what, this person you really want to save. What if that guy over there owed you five hundred dollars? If he dies, you ain't getting that. So it's maybe well, it's just watching owed him five hundred. Wallets in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that was so brutal. Those two people are still alive, and he William just creeps in there. He's like taking the, the dead people's wallets, and he's like, Willie, I saved your life, but off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Taylor, I'm sure something irked you in this trap. <laughs> well, this is a trap I thought was hilarious. Um, You're a terrible person. I know. It's funny. I'm terrible. Like, <clears throat> I thought the one part that you briefly mentioned when she's like, oh, my parents are sick, I gotta take care of them. The guy's like, 
your parents like disown you. They don't even talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I called you out there. <laughs> um, but she still made it. Yeah, she still made it. I, I, that was, I find that funny. I thought it was very interesting because, like, they all turned on each other. It was so well done. And, I mean, in that situation, I, I wouldn't be... I mean, if I was one of the, them and I had their kind of job and their mindset, I probably would have been doing the same thing. But me being who I am, I probably would have just sat there and be like, you know... I doubt it. It's, I yeah. doubt it. Because we I, all get in the put would be the first one yelling, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah. We all get in the carousel <laughs> together. You're like, who's going to want Assassin's Creed Universe? Like, I need to be alive for that. Like, you're going to be. You know, if, if, honestly, Ruben, like, have my password. <laughs> my, my only plan would have been like, uh, William, okay, me and uh, the chick there, like, she's pregnant. It's my son. You got to save us both and you'll be there for my kid. And then what happened to Dylan? Well, it's my son. No, it's mine. He's <laughs> <laughs> lying. Um, but the one thing I really got me was that was the hat. Though. <laughs> I mean, Some I old give, English. I wasn't even trying to. Oh. He's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that really got me was after when she he saved the blonde chick and the guy was just like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, oh. Well, I like the scene though that when he is like, I don't think he's the greatest actor, so it doesn't work. But when he asks William like, look at him, he's like, you look at me when you're killing me. Like, I like that scene because then William's like, okay, I gotta look at the choice. Yeah, I like Chad from Friday the Thirteenth. Really? I legit thought, is this Matt Damon in here? Or Matt something? Damon. I, didn't think it was, yeah. I thought it was wow. Matt Damon. Wow. No, I that'd be so Matt cool Damon. if Matt Damon was just ran. Like it was all just no names, but then Matt Damon on the like, carousel. You're like Matt, Matt Damon's Damon, for sure gonna survive. Nick Cage, all these well. I said no. Actors. Well, I guess Nick Cage is a no name now. So. You know. <laughs> Oh, they do that in the next one, don't they? Chester Bennington has like Chester a... Bennington has a small scene. Yeah. That's a uh, Lincoln Park singer. Oh, lead singer Lincoln Park there. Mm, so yeah, that, that's the last one. It's like, oh, need, now we need some celebrities because it's the yeah. last one. Uh, I guess and then we can talk about well, we talk about the final trap. I guess we can kind of talk about the people in there. So you got his sister in one room, mm -hmm. and then you got the family of the guy that he denied coverage to in the other. Taylor's for some reason laughing again. I'm just thinking about what you're talking. about. So, and then William makes it through the door with, like, two seconds left, and then... One second. One second left, and I'm going to go back and check now, 100%. Uh, and That's then fun. he is... I this, watched it this morning. I like the thing that comes up when it shows, and right away he looks at the family, and uh, to me, obviously, again, they big misdirect make you think the whole time that's his family yeah. in there and then he's like what are you Classic in there twist, yeah. and then yeah the girl's actually his sister and then Jigsaw pops up and reveals that like the kid and her were there just to like he even says sorry for the inconvenience this is just for you which their game is just to maybe kill or not kill a person so I guess but the only thing I'll add on that before we continue I liked that in the beginning where it was actually John Kramer doing the tapes and he was sitting there because it's like a really personal issue. I like that it was him. It was a nice, that's why I love this movie. It's like they took things that hadn't been done before, just little stuff and changed it with the doll, with him actually talking because he knows he's he's most wanted. It doesn't matter anymore. He doesn't have to hide behind this puppet. So I thought it was more personal, especially because yeah. he got denied coverage. He's talking to his family who lost their husband. Like just little touches make me love this. So what do we think about the final scene? Also, we talked a little bit about doesn't go well for William. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, in terms of it being, like, a, a twist, I don't think it has quite the emphasis as other movies do, but once again, like I said on our last episode, I'm, I'm okay with that at this point. Mm -hmm. They're kind of, they kind of veered away from, like, just these twists that were completely unpredictable. Yeah, it's like, kind of, um, it's like, again, like, Saw 3 with Jeff, like, oh, it's his marriage, and the same thing, like, right, oh, he's yeah. not married. It's just the reverse it's of Saw 3, oh, he's yeah. not married to these people. <laughs> They're like, instead of a boring character. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought it was a, I, I, I don't know, I like that scene when he like initially kind of goes over to the side of the cage like with his sister, I, I was like, oh nice, like that, I didn't see that coming, it's an interesting mm. dynamic. And she is in Saw 5, I think some of her scenes got cut, but mm. when Hoffman is getting like a big like whatever, the big press conference and they give like a medal and everything like that, she is in the audience. I have a feeling there's supposed to be more. But Pamela Jenkins is in the audience in Saw 5. So oh, I they did know. minorly set her up. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, just, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I thought it was a, a decent little twist, I guess. I don't know. There's not much to say. I, I, yeah. didn't, I don't think it was the big... Uh, uh, it wasn't a big emphasis ending. No. And I don't know if it was really supposed to be. I think it was more so like the other things in this movie, like the other backstory stuff that's supposed to be the big intrigue. Whereas this is kind of just... Uh, I guess like a coincidence or another classic like oh they like small world sort of thing with all these characters are intertwined in some way but not how you expected so mm -hmm. yeah I think it was well done I didn't see it coming mm -hmm. see the problem that I have with this one though 
is so the guy gets killed, like his bottom falls off. His bottoms. His bottoms fall off. His Literally. trousers. Uh, yeah. You know, after the guy from the In the worst way. The, that yeah. one kid, the kid's in the 100, though. Shout out to him. Mm. You know. You killed my father, motherfucker. Yeah. I can't kill him. Well, I can. Yeah, that uh, kid is a savage. Yeah, Now he's true. going to prison, too. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> like the actor, you mean? No, I imagine the character would, right? Because he, mm. they, why wouldn't he go to prison? He, they, he didn't put the needles in him. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he just chose the lever. There's still an option of you don't need to kill this person. The Punisher would still go to prison if the cops got him. Yeah, but so it's the like kid's going Jigsaw to prison. is not technically killing these people. But, it does, but is Jigsaw, are they not, the police not after him? Yeah, because they don't want these people to be doing horrible things to Well, themselves. exactly. It's the same way as even then. He didn't have to pull yeah, that lever. Yeah, the kid's going to juvie. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's <laughs> done for. His life is over. He's he, like his dad's. Yeah, because he saw this guy melt in front of him. Why are you here? I melted a guy's bottoms off. <laughs> oh fuck! Don't mess with him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. One, yeah. Some people might like that in prison, but. Yeah. Okay. So then, anyway, after that happens, uh, there's everything else going on with Hoffman. Hoffman. And so, was Jill going to come and let these people out, or and like the chick that was on the hanging game, or do they just rot away now? Cause he was like, if he had died, what would have happened to everyone. The ending has never really made sense for me yeah. with what happens with Hoffman and Jill. It's cool in the sense of like the bear trap and we'll talk about but the whole thing doesn't really make sense and to me it makes even less sense because this is what I was talking about in the original theatrical cut. So Hoffman's there to check up on them and everything like that and Jill does the same thing. He finds no she electrocutes him. She puts the bear trap on him. The whole trap is still going on. They're watching this happen, but then it literally just cuts to them and it just plays out the victims, like William's story the whole time. Same thing happens, the acid, he dies, and then they go back to Jill and Hoffman. And the way his trap is set off is when she closes the door. It doesn't have anything to do, because in this movie, when the sun hits die, Hoffman's trap turns on. Like, so almost like yeah. rectifying if he would have put live, Hoffman would have lived. That's not the way it was in the theatrical. In the theatrical cut, Jill just turns it on and she leaves. So I don't, one, I hate the DVD cut because I don't understand how does that correlate with this it's room. Really, it's it's so, it makes no sense. Like, there's no, like, I don't know, That that's like a coincidence way beyond any coincidence we've seen in these yeah. movies so far. And I, yeah, that really bothered me that yeah. that switch activated the Hoffman track. And then the theatrical cut Because that not timing that. is even, like, so precise. Yeah. It's like, I was like, no. Like, it, that it's so sense. annoying. That's why I hate that they changed it. I don't even understand. And the whole thing when Hoffman is like breaking out of the trap and parallel to that, that doesn't happen. It's all Hoffman breaking out the end. And I'm going to find the scene before <coughs> let's go after. The music is completely different. They have like, there is a saw, it's called Zep 6, and they use the whole track in the theatrical cut. When he's breaking hand, it's so much cool in the theatrical cut because they have like this violent music going on and they... It's like Baby Driver, as Tyler and Tim would say. They time it for when he breaks his hand. Like, once you see it, it's very frustrating. But even then, I imagine it's supposed to be the cops are going to come and find, like, the girl on the ledge. And they'll help her down. That's what I mean. Even if Hoffman was alive, I imagine Hoffman's just going to, like, dip. And, like, same way he came back to the trap from the yeah. beginning, right? Like, he was in there. He was just like, oh, what happened, guys? Like, and he's just, like, kind of weirdly listening to this tape of them, like, torture themselves. But I think cops would have just found it eventually. Like eventually? Yeah, I think. And then... <laughs> Hoffman there too, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, Jill. I obviously she's she's yeah. I guess she probably wouldn't have wanted to inform anyone of that place. No, no. Yeah, well, and I guess she can't do it without. Yeah. yeah, she can't really do that without incriminating herself. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's almost like, uh, like if they look in that box of her goodies, like they'll know anyway, right? I brought it up. There's no way FBI or cops would not get a warrant to look through that box before she got it. You're not going to get a box, even if it's in his will, you're not going to get a box from, like, a mass serial killer, and they're just going to be like, okay, let Jill... Especially, they even say the box is from John Kramer. Like, it's specifically, yeah. like, she got the box from him. You're going to check it. There's and no they way... Kinda, they were kind of... I can't remember what one it was, but they were, like, kind of sus on her anyway. Like, they had a feeling that she was... Like, Strong was. Like, they were questioning her, yeah. Strong was in four, remember? Yeah, he had yeah, an interrogation yeah. room. And even Pamela Jenkins, the whatever the what is she uh journalist journalist she even like knows about this box so it's like why is she just walking around this box with a serial killer that always bugs me because we didn't actually we completely skipped over jill <laughs> and saw five i thought we were gonna talk about her but we completely forgot so 
Well, it's we kind of did. We did. We didn't talk about the she, bog. I mentioned that she's boring. Yeah, yeah. That was about. That's how boring she was. She forgot. So let's talk yeah. about her right now because she's in some flashbacks. She has a big role in here with the box and Hoffman and everything like that. The, when I saw it originally, the flashback surprised me because I always, for me, assumed that she didn't really know all the stuff that's going on. But she's literally in a house or in a place that's seeing like Hoffman and Amanda set up this rack trap. You know, like I yeah. never, th I thought maybe she could have knew, but I never thought it was to the extent that she was actually around this stuff. So yeah, that always caught me off guard. And yeah, I don't like Jill. She's one of my least favorite characters. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a writing thing or an actress thing. I just never cared about her. And even at the end when she drops her little, like, game over. Like, it's so weak and it has no emotion behind yeah. it. It's just, oh, uh, I'm not a big fan of Jill. Yeah, I, for me, it kind of, it kind of messes up a lot of what happened in these movies. Like, the fact that she is kind of, I, I guess she never was included. She never helped. Set up the traps, yeah. never set up, but she was... It seemed like she kind of had free reign to walk around and kind of explore whatever the fuck Jigsaw was doing. Yeah. Like, she got, like, is that even that, that, free that scene when, when Amanda is, like, uh, wheeling Jigsaw down the hallway and she shows up, it, like, what's that from? Because that room is familiar. Like, isn't that, like, a hallway? Saw 3. It's from Saw 3? Yeah, yeah, it's right yeah. before he's about to go, like, lay down on the bed and whatnot like okay. that, so. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I really, this whole time, Jill has been really boring. She was really boring in this movie as well. And, yeah, I don't know what it is either. She's just not an intriguing character whatsoever. And yeah. I even, like, I, I like the idea of the box, that it's, like, Jigsaw's will, and these are the last people I need killed before my legacy is complete. But that's even kind of a boring reveal, because it's just, like, a bunch of envelopes with numbers on them. And it's just, like, uh, William kind of makes sense. He's like, okay, screwed him over. But it's not, like, other than Hoffman, none of them are that exciting. We're just meeting these people for the first time. Yeah. So... Yeah, I, I, just, I guess that like I'm glad that that, that reveal was kind of toward the end of Saw Five. Like it wasn't something we were waiting for climbing for the whole time. <laughs> yeah, because like if so, that'd be like very anticlimactic. But I guess it makes sense that that would, that's what would be in the box. It also yeah it makes no logical sense that they wouldn't have checked it and looked inside of it. There's a bear trap in here, guys. <laughs> There's a bear trap in here. Yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what someone said. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about Jill. Mm -hmm. Um, she's a character. I guess she she helped Jigsaw's uh, legacy at the end of this with the bear trap and help uh, try to kill Hoffman, I guess. Um, well, this is what I was going to ask you guys, because I've never understood this. Is that supposed to be an execution of Hoffman, or is he supposed to have a chance? Because I feel like if he's not in that specific room, he does no chance at all. Just because he's smart enough to use those bars, so when the trap springs, it like stops and he can take it off, right? Yeah. But if he's just like in the snow somewhere... What does he do? Like no, that's. I, I thought it was supposed to be an execution. Yeah, which sure. I don't. Yeah. That that like again doesn't make sense with the whole movie about a man being like, oh, you need a test, and like Jigsaw, like you have the flashbacks of him listening to the tape when he's like, you will be tested. Like that's not a test. Like a man had a chance to get out. Hoffman doesn't. So that's why I do feel like Jigsaw is a huge hypocrite. And I said earlier, well, it's like kind of like the buyer's remorse because. There's, it, to me, that was just Hoffman being smart and a badass to get out of that. There's no, like, I love when he breaks his hand. It's so cool. And, they, he, like, he's using this and he's using all this stuff. But I guess it's Jigsaw's, like, last call to prove that he, you know, he is Jigsaw and he is the mastermind behind it all. And no one can take over his legacy and he wants, he doesn't want it to continue without him. But perhaps. then he's doing what he hates because we just saw Saw 5 where he's like, killing is distasteful and he's just flat out killing off men, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know, it's weird. It's it's, it's even, it, it, I guess it's kind of the same question as like Strom's trap in Saw 5. Like, was he designed <laughs> yeah. to be able to get out of that or was that supposed to be an execution that was also just a failure, right? Yeah. It's, it's hard to say, but... Well, the reason yeah. that I think it was supposed to be an execution is because of the game over. Like, mm -hmm. any time that they've closed the door and said game over, they're leaving someone. Yeah. Die. They're leaving Adam to die, or they were leaving uh, Matthews. Matthews to die. Yeah, so fair enough. So the game over was supposed to signify that he was being left to die, in my opinion. Right. Hoffman beat that. Come on, Matthews. He did beat that. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I agree with that. I think it was supposed to be like, oh, we're taking him out because we don't trust him anymore, but... Com completely makes Jigsaw a total hypocrite again. Yeah, I, I guess I guess him just spending all that time with Hoffman. Yeah, he's like, ah. he's like he's cool and all. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, he'll kill some people. He'll you know do the do the heavy lifting. He's got the inside scoop, but he's also 
kind of fucked up, and he, I don't trust you him. You know, he's not he's not really fulfilling my vision. So. <laughs> oh, that's 100% <laughs> it. Um, Jessica, do you have anything to add on, Joe? How much not, to add, really? No. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, her... Uh, it is true that, like, <laughs> uh, in that one, whatever one it was, I think it was three maybe four, where we see her walk into the workshop when he's building Billy the Puppet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it seems like she doesn't really know what's going on or that she wants him to stop. She doesn't want to be a part of it. So it is kind of weird that they lead you to think that. But apparently she is in on everything. Like, she even knows how to set up the bear trap and put it on. So, like... <laughs> She's been walking, taking some classes. Yeah, like, there was no... Like, oh, shit, how do I put this on? It was just, like, she knew exactly what was going on. Yeah. So there obviously was more involvement than just this will with a pitcher and a bear trap, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Overall, I mean, I, she's just kind of a supplement character to help move things along more mm -hmm. than anything, but, yeah, she's there. Now, because they answered the, que they answered the questions of the box and the note, Dilmas, what did you think that package was that Jill dropped off? Because remember, she gets the only thing that was not revealed in this movie, she gets a yellow package and she puts it in, like, a mail door thing, and you don't know what it is. Oh, right. Any theories on what that is? Um, come back to me in ten minutes. I'll come oh. back to you in ten minutes. Um, well, actually, because... Did it have anything written on it? Like, that's you didn't get There's to so see. much you fucking just... shit in this movie. It's hard for me to... No, no, no. It was just yellow envelope. You didn't see anything on it. Right. Yeah, I have no... I actually have no idea. Okay. Once again. Yeah, I'm no excited. Idea. Um, we haven't really talked about... We've talked about Hoffman a lot, but we haven't talked about the beginning and kind of middle... We jumped just to like to me my favorite scene of the movie, but Perez was back. How how do you Perez feel? Was back. How do you feel about that, Dylan? Because I know you're a huge fan of Perez. Um, that, but how do you feel? I guess Perez and the whole FBI thing. I like that she's in this movie just a bit. I guess. <laughs> like she she doesn't really need to be in here. I I feel like it's once again one of those things where these movies like to kill off every single person who has been in them. Mm -hmm. Like your character doesn't end by being happy and going off on a cruise or, you know, getting into another field like you end by being murdered. But, yeah, I mean, I really, really liked that scene. I thought that scene had a lot of suspense. And I I guess she's... I guess her purpose in this movie is, is kind of to offer the perspective of someone who knew Strom really yeah. well and had spent a lot of time with him, whereas um, <clears throat> the other captain or the investigator, whatever his Erickson. name is... Erickson. Erickson, right? No, like he lost he, the phone thing this time. He, even though this yeah, takes place days true. later, he's I like, oh, I'm, I'm over this fast. He's like, I've, it's been a year, I've developed. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, he obviously didn't ever really know Strom. He kind of just showed up at some point or got a promotion. I don't know where the fuck he came from, actually. I can't really remember. But yeah, I, I think I, he's kind of be like a higher up in the FBI. Like, sure. he came over. So he just, wasn't necessarily needed until. until yeah, this point. like where those two were partners, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I actually. I would say that her inclusion in this movie is actually. Is, is good. I, I think it's. I like her more than Saw 4, actually. I yeah. think she has a bit more personality, at least. Sure. And, and yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I really like that scene uh, when they're unscrambling the, the voice and she's kind of just like dropping some hints. And she seems like she's already like super suspect. And well, she obviously is quite suspect of Hoffman. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like she goes down there to that unscrambling room to like, like knowing what confirm that yeah. she already knew that. And like, well, even she's just, always even just, just like, the way well, she's like standing in that room, like, she seems like she's kind of prepared for Hoffman to do something crazy. Wasn't prepared for that coffee, though. So, yeah. So this is kind of really going back. Uh, apparently, according to the fandom wiki, uh, Jill was angered by the letter that was left for Amanda, so she did not leave the key. So she decided to execute Hoffman. Mm, which is kind of lame. So. <laughs> I don't understand why she'd be mad about the thing with Amanda, because it's like... I don't know, you, uh, she killed your baby, ma'am. <laughs> like, I don't know, she's not that great of a person. Like, so, yeah, I, don't, I never liked that wrinkle. I just, like, hope that, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what there was. But I uh, was going to say, and also with Perez, she's just like, oh, um, like, what are you timing? And he's like, Hoffman's like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hoffman does have some really bad rebuttal. He's like, oh, I was timing. She's like, what, were you, were you timing something? He's like, I was, but... I had to go. <laughs> he doesn't even have like a good setup. No. I can't remember. She just says, "Oh yeah," and she's always just like, "Oh, Strom wouldn't do that." And blah, blah blah. Like I think the same way Strom last movie was carrying the torch for everyone that had died. She's like carrying the torch that Strom was carrying. So she like has like two torches. Yeah, like, she's, she didn't like, carry it very well, but no, no. She even has her gun ready. And Hoffman, like that Hoffman, I remember yeah, that she now. She just destroys that poor Asian woman. 
<laughs> she actually does. I take it that she's blinded, so all she sees is like a shape and she shoots. It's, That's, it's I a hope. classic of like, you know, we're trying to do a movie here. We need to admit, let you guys see it, but like, <laughs> yeah. this room is supposed to be pitch black. Yeah. Well, even then, he, do, he is smart. That happens a lot in these movies, actually. He does blow the breaker, though, right? I do like that he takes a knife and he blows the breaker and he makes it all dark. So he does, like, it is all trying him to be calculating, right? So yeah. I, I like that they try to type it, like, right up to that. And, yeah. I don't understand how she died from just being twisted in the stomach. He, stole, he stabbed her, like, ten times. He stabbed her a bunch of times. But he's, like, talking. They're talking, and yeah. then he, like, twists the knife, and then she, like, dies. Maybe that is a thing, and then it goes back up, and then... Uh, yeah. She has a really low heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After that thing to her face, it, like, yeah. sunk I mean, her. that's the other thing, is, like, she's she's weak, you know? Like, she took a, like, shotgun shrapnel blast to the face, mm-hmm. and you could still see, like, they, obviously, there's still, like, the effect yeah. there. So, and she was, like, big chilling in the hospital for a while. How did you feel about, though, the whole, like, cover-up of her being dead? Did you, was that fine with you? Like, because they in Saw 5 clearly, like, say, oh, Perez is gone. Were you... I forgot about that, honestly. Oh, yeah, because Strom's, yeah. like, sitting by a bed, and it's all, like, covered in blood, and, like, Hoffman's like, oh, sorry about Perez. Did... How do you feel? I guess they didn't feel I guess I thought it. she escaped at the time. <laughs> From the hospital, running around with the shrapnel. I feel like I'm watching too much Arrested Development or something. Like, I feel like that happens in that show a couple of times. So I just assume. No, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, she did. Because she never has, like, a line or anything in Saw 5, so it's not, like, that memorable. It's kind of hard to remember exactly what yeah. happened with her. Yeah. These fucking movies, man. There's so much going on. Yeah. I just, I just want to go back to that. I might have missed it while I was looking up Hoffman shit, but. The fact that she, she's like, I've uh, I've got this clip and I can like change the voice. So you can hear how who it is, and then they sit there and do it for ten minutes. Like, wouldn't you figure it out and then call them down? And be like, oh, yeah. I got the 100%. killer's voice. Yeah, it was really uh, like that scene. Didn't really make <laughs> I think I, I even, they, they even say that they're like, oh, I thought you had something for it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Almost there. But it, but it it's funny because when she when they first go down there, like she hasn't done anything yet, really. Like she, it's still completely scrambled. <laughs> She's like, I almost got it, guys. Like, what? <laughs> no sense. I, I think it, from a story's perspective, I'll try to play it off as they were just so keen, like they were just so amped to get Hoffman that they're like, let's get him down there or not. But even then. It felt like they just wanted to be there to see Hoffman's reaction and then take him in. But really, they yeah. should have found out Hoffman's voice and guess what? Just show up on his doorstep with a bunch of swan like, man, you're under arrest. Like, we got you. Instead of this whole like, we're, trying to we're be gonna, coy. yeah, we're gonna get him. We're gonna play him. So we're gonna be <laughs> so. We're gonna drop hands. Ashton and- Kutcher walks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even Erickson, like right before the tape is like scrambled, he's like, oh, we found this residue and like Strong's been dead this whole time. And they're all just like dropping these bombs on Hoffman. Like they're setting him up to be like, okay, coffee, nice. They're just like, like giving him fuel. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loading his gun. Yeah, yeah, like he's getting ready to do stuff. <laughs> Like, but I, this is where I did feel that he out coyed them all the way and out thought, cause he did that and he kind of thought, oh, that's him thinking on his feet. But in his trunk, he had gasoline and Strom's hand. So he already had in his mind that I think he knew, okay, they got me. I'm going to get them. All so, they had to do was look in that fucking trunk uh, three <laughs> yeah. months ago and they would have had him. Hey, Hoffman, I just brought my guitar to work. Can I just put it, put it in your... No, no. <laughs> no it's full. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just Strom's hand. I got some beers, too. You got an ice pack? Oh, no, no, no. Whose hand is that? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I felt like even though it felt like it was... Out of the blue, I feel like he even was setting that. He set up the right. setup for it. So he knew. And I like the whole movie that they did. It was it picked up the Cad Mouse game again where it felt like they knew and he knew that they knew and they were playing this game. And they are just like, oh, but if you help us out, we'll give you information, everything we know. And he's like, okay, I guess I'll help you out. Like, they just kept trying to play it, each other. It seems it seems different than how it was done in... In Saw 5, it's like, you know, Strom is chasing Strom Hoffman. Strom was just like, it's Hoffman's you. <laughs> kind of chasing Strom yeah. at the same time. And then there's also Erickson. But in this one, it's just like Hoffman. And like you said at the beginning, like everything's like crumbling underneath him. Yeah. And they're kind of, they kind of zoned in on him. And that's actually brings up a question I have. And you obviously know the question. You guys, if you haven't watched the 7 yet, you might not remember. But like, um, what's her name? Perez, like, says, like, or... I think Hoffman asks uh, Perez. Who else knows? Yeah, who else knows? And she says everyone. And so I'm really curious what that means. Like if You're fucking lying. If every <laughs> if they've already like released this information to other people, and so when they mysteriously disappear, like are other the other cops gonna know that Hoffman is 
a fucking murderer or not. Like, I, I'm You'll curious. You'll find out. Yeah, the well, classic. Even, even then, not even talking about Saw 7, the thing that I always wondered with that, I thought she was always full of bullshit because... That wouldn't make sense. I know, that's well, that's the question for That me. wouldn't make sense to be like, hey guys, we think Hoffman's a jigsaw killer, but we, we don't have proof yet, but we're like 99. Like, we keep on the DL. If like, I end up like, dead, well, it's Hoffman. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe it's that, but like, for her to say everyone knows, that's a fucking lie. You wouldn't go, because what happens if they scramble the tape and it was strong and like, fuck, we just told everyone Hoffman was a jigsaw killer. Yeah. And if they die in a car that's accident, awkward. everyone is like, it's Hoffman super was awkward the, because yeah. Hoffman's yeah. like, Done a lot for the jigsaw case <laughs> yeah. from this perspective, right? Like, he's kind of solved the whole thing. He's put this guy yeah. away. Like, clearly they're right, but if you play the what if scenario and he was just like a good guy, you just ratted him out to everybody. So I think she was just kind of trying to like save face value and just be like, oh yeah, everyone knows. Because I don't even know if you really get an answer in Saw 7, to be honest. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of vague. So I don't know. It's, you'll, you'll see. That's, oh. This is really random, but I just want to say it because I noticed it and I thought it was really silly. So he, like, lights the one match, lights the match pack, and then puts out the single match and throws that. Doesn't he just throw it on the ground? The, the pack, but I just, it's funny because he, like, lights them all, and then he, like, puts the other one out. He's going to use that. Yeah. Yeah. He, put, he, he put the other match out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he just, like, tossed it. No. He should have threw it both ways. My thing I did like in that scene. I don't know. I think it's pretty stylish to do that. You know? when he's he's kind of like a cowboy, right? So yeah. he's, he's just being cool. When he's dousing Erickson in the gasoline, he's, like, laughing at yeah. him. He's like, Erickson's <laughs> like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why I fucking love Hoffman because he's, like, <laughs> I think for a little bit in 4 and 5, like, you can see differences, but this is when you really yeah. saw how different he is from Amanda and Jigsaw, and that, just yeah, little yeah, stuff yeah. like that all the time, like, even the scene he has with the reporter, when he's just, like, he's kind of uncomfortably, like, cornered her at a wall, and he's like, oh, I might know, I might not know, like, he's just, he's, he's, he's really cool and calm, but you never, you always feel like something's a little off with him, so it oh, yeah. makes he's sense why they were, like, a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. These people need to pick up on him. <laughs> they did, and then yeah. they got slim the throats and everything like that, so. Yeah, but, yeah, just, like, one more time, like, I really, I, that scene of them finding out and then him going so good. deep shit, like, it just reminds me of, like, something from Dexter or Hannibal when, yeah. when their covers are blown and then they just go in, like, this this primal rage that you don't really see as often, right? Like, you don't really see that from Hoffman. He's more, like, behind the scenes, and you he does that through, like, yeah. words. But then, yeah, you really see, like, how vicious he truly is, right? Well, that's why I always loved that scene, because when I saw it the first time, it actually shocked me, because other than Jigsaw going Assassin's Creed on tap in the first one, and maybe Amanda... Well, even Amanda, they cut away when they see her, like, she's supposed to kill Matthews, right? Like, you don't see these people physically do anything, really. It's all talked about, or it's all traps, it's yeah. all hearsay. But when it, I remember seeing Hoffman, like, actually just stab press, it felt shocking. To me, that's what made it feel different again, because, like, oh, he he doesn't care. Like, it wasn't even Amanda, where she was, like, a big build-up to finally kill Matthews. Like, he'll do it in a second. If he has to, that's why, like, if he's caught, he's going to kill these people, and he yeah. won't care. And he's going to, and he enjoyed it the whole time. He had that too. knife ready. He did. It's so cool. I love that scene. Can I go make a gif? Make a gif? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just choking. What What did you feel about all <laughs> the this? Apparently, I'm so hungry right now. What did you feel about all this? It's Twelve o'clock. Why have you not eaten breakfast? <laughs> right you breakfast. You live two minutes away. <laughs> the, the Tim's was not good enough. Like I was in line, he's freaking me you out. Don't eat breakfast at Tim's. Did you have anything more to add on the FBI? He doesn't want to add anything. I know. He that's wants why. To go that's why I, I said that. Did you want to add anything? Did I want to? I will say, you know, that scene. Uh, just like you guys said, it was badass. It was unexpected. Like he was just gonna go nuts on them. I thought he was just gonna like be like, I use the washroom and just kind of sneak out or something like. But um, <laughs> okay, uh, he uh, he, <laughs> he says fun. that and he's walking and he just like books it through the door and like oh off. I feel like those That's cops. <laughs> like I, I totally think I think that's hilarious how like all the cops are like yeah we're just gonna try and rub it in his face let's plan this out but I mean you're two freaking agents I mean you both got guns I mean you should have been. Not they sh the one guy put his back towards uh, Hoffman so many times. They should have just been <laughs> looking at him constantly, and they should have had SWAT there just on the off chance. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have backup. I mean, look at Matthews. Look at Matthews. Dude, Matthews rolled the SWAT. <laughs> he yeah. is the SWAT. Yeah, I am the SWAT. Um, yeah, is there anything big we want to tackle? I have like some quick noses shot here and there, but um, I, don't I don't have any. I think we've talked about everything. Big plot points. I th I think. Hoffman, Amanda, uh, Jigsaw. I guess we didn't talk much about Jigsaw. Oh, yeah, so oh, well, I had a quick question. Yeah. Then. So the tape then that was inside Jigsaw, 
What was on that tape again? That was for Hoffman, That was right? sophomore when he's like, you think you're in control, but you're not in control. Like, I still have plans for you. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. has just begun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's like, kind of tell him, like, I'm dead, but like, <coughs> look out. Look out. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan, I want to ask you, because when I op- said this in my opening, Bring it. I said the Jigsaw flashbacks were well used. Do you not agree with that? Because you're like, eh. Because I liked even the one with Jill when he, other than the Will ones, I when the Jill when he's just like, Wake up! And he's yelling at yeah. her. And he's I, I didn't like the uh, one where he meets uh, William. Yeah. I think that one could have been done better. Other than that, I mean, I always think... I honestly think Jill is boring all the time. Fair so, enough. while, like, those scenes... Those scenes are always slow, and I think it's because it's kind of just like a, a one-man show, even though it should be an interaction between two characters. So, it's kind of just seems... It seems off, pacing-wise, timing-wise. But, no, I think, I think they're pretty good for the most part i just i I feel like sometimes this the script in this one for jigsaw just didn't really fit with my my previous like concept for what jigsaw is and how he is and how he would say certain things so i think for me it maybe just didn't quite fit the mold that i already had going on in my head yeah so i didn't didn't love it from that perspective but i think there is some really really good shots i think the best one is uh like obviously uh, that scene where he's in William's office and he's like explaining why he should get this coverage. Piranha. And, yeah, and then it just I love that that monologue ends with Piranha. Like mm-hmm. that, it's it's such a weird. It's kind of cheesy, but it's I don't know. It's done well, right? The so. reason I shut out a big video in the Saw forums was it's on my YouTube video with that ten hours loop of Tobin Bell going Piranha. Yeah. I don't know if it still exists, but it was a great You know what? Why is it always 10 hour loops? (laughs) Why is that the case? It's a lot of work. I applaud those people. That's a long upload. No, you just gotta like double it. So you do two and then take But then the rendering, I mean, the upload time. Your your computer is (laughs) uploading now on YouTube for weeks. Especially back then when you A two hour video. Computers were weaker, you know. Yeah, a two hour video for us could take like three hours to upload a 10 hour video. Couldn't even, that's like 11 hours right there. It's a long time. Like as long as the video. You like watch the video while it you're It usually is. Video. YouTube. Every YouTube. second that video is uploading, you're like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's just this realization. I don't know it takes you guys to learn how to upload YouTube videos. For me, it's like, it's really, really there quick. was one podcast you, you're like, I'm like, how's the rendering going? You're like, good. It says it has 14 hours left. <laughs> it, didn't really, it didn't really have 14 hours. <laughs> it did though, because it didn't come out. You're like, it's going to be That's not the kind of number you pick in this exaggeration. That's too specific. I don't know what you're you but you're like, it'll be up Friday. It was up Monday. And I was like, what happened over there the There was weekend? probably a lot of other stuff going on. Oh, yeah, there. sure. It didn't eat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I never made that when I hate you. Oh. You will. Oh, yes. Um. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, well, I actually have another question. So, they, <laughs> they mention it quickly in this movie. I can't remember what scene it's from, but they mention that, like, everyone from Saw 5 died. I thought... Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty big bombshell. Because I, I thought Rita and... Nope. What's his face? Well, the tweak. Rita more so. I, I thought she just passed out from blood loss or something. I didn't know they both died. Yeah. And they died then and there, I guess. Like, that's... that To me, that was kind of weird that they just dropped that... Just not all nonchalant. I think it was a vibe that the fans didn't really like those characters, so they're like, we're not going to bring them back. But even then, they did that with Riggs, right? Riggs was just shot on the ground. The next movie, like, yeah, Riggs died, right? So they've done it before where people right. just die off screen. So I think it's just, yeah. I think they leave it open in case a Riggs or a Rita, they have plans. But then when the movie comes around, like, well, we don't know where Riggs fit in here, so he died, right? So I think right. they leave it open then. Like, and especially because this, they knew they were winding down when they announced six. Yeah. They did announce seven at the same time. They said seven's going to be right. the last one. So they were trying yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, it's not a big deal for me. And, like, I don't know what they would do with those characters if they were to come back. But I was, I was more, it was more a question. Like, You'll see there is that. something that is annoying that they could have been used for. And it's not even a big spoiler. You'll hear about it in Saw 7. It's just, like, they talk about some certain victims. And yeah. there'll be something, though, as Taylor Field say irk you so irk you mm-hmm. irk you're gonna get irk you're gonna get irk straight irky yeah so I got a question for mm-hmm. you uh when William's in his office like before he shoots the security guard <laughs> I have that in my notes Bruce and he <laughs> shoots someone poor 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 security guard so he's watching the news and they're showing a picture of the pig mask the mm-hmm. pig mask yeah. yeah how do they have like did they yeah, I remember with, um, well, they probably have a few, but 
Think about Saw 1 and Saw 2, they have both those places, right? So when we're saw, we're tapped on his throat slit, and where Matthews like was destroying all the evidence. So I know oh, they have at least two houses. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, true. And there's like tons of shit in those places. Yeah. yeah. They okay. haven't found the bathroom, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one place they just like, oh, this bathroom's in the fucking moon, it's, apparently. It's just in the basement. Go the basement. <laughs> it's in Hoffman's house basement again. It's in Hoffman's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's his bathroom. This is the master bathroom. <laughs> He's having a shower with all these dead bodies. Hoffman would actually do that, so. Um... Just Showers in blood. One of my things that made me laugh, like, accidentally, was he's showing Will, like, the traps. Jigsaw's showing Will the traps he has on his hands and wrists and everything like sure, that yeah. on a monitor. And he's like, look closely. And they pan over to this mannequin. And it's just a mannequin like this. And the, the, the bombs go off. They explode his hands. The only reason I laughed because I thought about, man, the amount of mannequin violence that has been in these movies is just as much as people. Anytime yeah. Jigsaw's like, look at this. They go over and it's a poor mannequin. And this one, I don't know why it just stuck out. It's just his hands, they exploded, and he's just still there. And like, Will's like, oh. It's like, even worse than Mythbusters <laughs> said. Like, they go hand, yeah. hand super hand. So I just thought, and you gotta think there's so many traps that didn't work as well, right? Yeah. So, and there's like mannequins in the rack. Like, there's so much mannequin bodies like around. So. I don't know. I just laughed. Mm -hmm. um, I liked how the evidence they had against Hoffman because we talked about the tape and the fingerprints. The other thing I liked was the difference with the knives that cut out the jigsaw puzzle piece when they're like, oh, this one was a yeah. surgical, but the one this person is <laughs> using is serrated and they got it perfectly. Like, oh, the only other time this has happened has been the girl, the guy who killed your girlfriend or your sister and he's like, oh, that's mm -hmm. weird. <laughs> like, Hoffman, once again, terrible. But I like... I like, I like that as well. The only thing yeah. I didn't like about it was... He's like, you guys can tell that much from a picture? And the, <laughs> and the doctor's like, I can! Yeah, yeah. I've worked on every jigsaw It's like, yeah. Jesus, man, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does get, like, really happy. <laughs> Maybe not that happy, but, you know. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I put Will shooting the security. That was kind of funny. Um, I liked the score. <laughs> <It's kind of laughs> I don't know. Because he's such a good shot, and he, like, he thinks he has the jigsaw killer. Yeah, it's just and, like, like, that security guard just got left there. Like, he bought that and died. <laughs> Why is he wearing his hood up inside? Why is he walking around with his? He's totally at home. Like he has no reason. Like obviously it's like storm that knocked the power. It's nothing like malicious. Like he had no reason to be sneaking around. You should have said, "Is anyone in here?" Like I take it as no. I do take it as I don't think the storm got rid of the power. I took it. Hoffman did it. So security found, hey, someone messed with our mm. energy, or, or energy. <laughs> ah, someone messed with the power, and someone's in there okay. right now. Yeah, so that's why right. I took it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know yet why he actually has the hood. I guess maybe he was outside and came in. But yeah, because he does just look like pig jigsaw from behind. Pig so pig, yeah. you can't really like get yeah. mad at William Pig's for soul. shooting him. So. Yeah. Um, I did like, we, I didn't throw this in earlier, but I like that Jigsaw calls, um, or sorry, Hoffman calls Jigsaw on his BS at one moment when he dumps Timothy. Oh, I have that in my notes Yeah, too. when he jumps, dumps Timothy, he's like, oh, that's a, that's a human being there. And Hoffman's like, what you do isn't any worse than that. Like, you like brutality. And then Jigsaw's just like, he just takes his puffer. Like, Jigsaw <laughs> doesn't even come back. And that's why, I, like, I think I've always liked Hoffman so much because he does, like, yeah, he's a terrible person, but, like. Yeah, Jigsaw, we talk about already so many times on yeah. these retros, he is kind of a hypocrite, and Hoffman says oh, yeah. right there, like, yeah, and what, like, what's it to you? Like, he, he said that's a human being, this is the guy he's putting in the rack, the worst trap, like, known to Saw, in my opinion, he's like, yeah. oh, don't dump him on his head there, it's like, he's gonna go through a lot worse because of you, so I, I love that, and that just, again, like, it shows, like, is Hoffman, or Jigsaw really mad, or is he just, like, not liking Hoffman anymore, like, is it just kind of this fly around, I'm like, I gotta get rid of him, you know, and that's what... I like it's, in this movie. It's an interesting dynamic between them because Jigsaw, like, has this mentality that he's you know, he's a good guy or something, or that what he's doing isn't evil, or that he's not killing these people when he's really a fucking disgusting serial killer. So yeah, yeah, and I I, I love that Hoffman's much more upfront about it, and he realizes what he, what they're doing is shitty, <laughs> yeah. and he's like he just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was gonna say cool. this is one just for Dylan. So we've been through six, six movies. <laughs> I guess I leave the room now. You know, you know. No. Time to go get some food. Yes, please. We've been through <laughs> six movies, five sequels. Sure. Where is your feeling where Doctor Gordon is, Dylan? No oh, fuck. I so you got, about him. and put it in this perspective. This came out two thousand nine. This was very very difficult every year, more and more. And then I can tell you in the forums. People had just been like, I'm done. They just like were just... Gave up. 
Yeah, because so much teasing, so much stuff. Like, like, we're gonna finally going to delete the Gordon form. Right? <laughs> yeah. We're finally yeah. going to do it. We so need what, this space. So what do you think? Do you think we see him? Do you think this is a question that's left open? Because it's been, because right. I know you've mentioned it a couple times, but... Well, I mean, from the perspective of the actor, I don't know who that guy is, so I don't know. Gary Elwes or something like that. Yeah, so I don't know if he's, you know, like, went off bigger and better things, or if he just... He was bigger when he was younger. He did Robin Hood Men Tights, he was in The Princess Bride, had a good role My Liar, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Uh, where is Dr. Gordon? Yeah, I guess, unless I just didn't notice it, I don't think there's been any hints since... There's been mentions, but not... Yeah, like, they occasionally mention, like, your physician, Dr. Gordon, but, um, nothing really, nothing really, like, no breadcrumbs, I guess. Yeah. So, I have no fucking clue where it is. I would love to see him come back in this one, or, or in Jigsaw, because, why not, you know, they, I feel like that's, off the top of my head, that's the only character that hasn't really had a conclusion, I guess, other than maybe, like, Er, uh, Matthew's son is also just chilling, but <laughs> but do we care about? It's kind of damn. an assumption that he's, he's just a kid, so he's <laughs> yeah. like, you know, he can live. He's in juvie with the other murderer. Guy. He's in juvie with yeah, the other murderer guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know what happened to him, but I I would like to see him. I hope he comes back. I just want to ask because we haven't talked about him in a while, and I remember because they bring him up in this movie. He's like your right. physician. I do like that. Uh, Kramer's like. Oh, Gordon, like, he always has his hand on the door when I'm talking to him. So you get more little vibes of, like, oh, Gordon was kind of like a... a, a he, personally, he was a shitty doctor. He was yeah. maybe good at his job, but he didn't have any people he's skills. He's a specialist, yeah. Yeah, he's a specialist, yeah. So that is all the notes I have. I'll say I got the, what trap would you want? I think we kind of talked about uh, that, This movie brought up a question, because every other every time when the movie's over, I'm like, this movie's really annoying, I turn it off. But there's actually a post credit scene in this movie. There's a post credit scene? There's a post credit scene. What is it? <laughs> it's Amanda going to uh, the 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 room, the cage room where the where Jeff's kid is, and she like says through the door, she's like, "You're safe. Don't trust your savior. Don't trust your savior." Yeah. And I, so I was curious if I missed any other ones because I had never stayed and watched. I don't know if there was because that was the same thing where they released that Amanda and Cecil Carr scene before the DVD came out. Yeah. So I think this was like a new thing they were playing I with. Be surprised. Plus Iron Man had came out, so maybe they're just like we're gonna jump on that bandwagon. So yeah. I guess maybe that's to tie in more with probably the girl was like another person saying like, Oh, Hoffman's a bad guy but Yeah. And I guess that kinda makes it feel like Amanda had a feeling she wasn't gonna make it out of this alive, I think. Even well I don't take that from Saw Three. Yeah, I get well I guess part of the plan was that <coughs> Hoffman would be the one to take that girl the hero. Yeah. So I guess she knew that he would be the one, whether or not she was still alive. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. That was a post credit scene. Any other notes? Taylor, you don't have anything else to chime in with? Hey, you've been quiet over there, Taylor. Um, I missed my chance a lot ago, but I'll throw it in now. That kid who pulled the lever down just to kind of oh, he pissed me off. You pissed you off. That was yeah. a long time ago, that oh, conversation. <laughs> the conversation just drifted. I'm like, oh, it's long gone. But you put you put the plate in it front of you. It didn't argue. It pissed you off. It pissed me off, you know. Um, why is that? Well, he's like, I can kill him. And he's just so confident. He's just a little shit. Taylor's mad because he'll never be that confident in his life. But I don't need to be that confident. He's he's a little a brat. Whoa. Whoa. He's a mama's boy. That's a mama's wow. boy. Okay. Wow. He's a mama's boy. Yeah. You hear that? Well, <clears throat> we talk about all the time... What trap would you want? But I think we kind of spoiled it, but you got the trap at the beginning with those two health insurance people. I think they were... Not how old were they? Tax mm-hmm. insurance? They had loan sharks. Loan sharks. So loan you got them. Sharks. You got to fill this thing off with some weights, either your fat or arm. You got the breathing trap. You got that. I, 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 just, I totally forgot. I wanted to say... The CGI on that chick's arm in the hospital is oh, it's so not good. bad. Yeah. Oh, I will bring I that lost up. my damn arm! <laughs> I will bring that up. That's another thing I did like, though, that you got to see John Kramer. He got to see, like, feel like Amanda, like, value their life after. Hoffman's getting... That's why I feel like you can see him change as well, because he's seeing people now being like, I didn't want this. Like, I still feel the same. Like, Hoffman in that scene is like, well, this didn't do anything. <laughs> like The question is so awkward, though. He, want, he wanted me to value my life. Well, did it work? Like, <laughs> yeah. Who, yeah. who maybe, the fuck asked that? Maybe he's not the best list delivery. Yeah, he, his fucking ego is just awful. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like this'll work. You know. He's like, I'm not a god? <laughs> what, I can't fly? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, trap? Uh, and then, so we had the uh, hanging. That's what I mean. It, there are all, all these traps, they just... It's close. They to were so simple though. in the first movie, you know? You yeah. have one trap with one person in there. 
and you got to do the thing. can work out as but now it's, on. Yeah, it's hard to say. I would just take the breathing one. Or I would take the holding one because, oh, I got to pick somebody, but I'm still okay, so. Wow, you, you would be, I would not want that to be on my mind. You, you st- that way you, you still have to kill hang- four people. You still, no, 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 I said the, ha- the hanging one, the one, oh. not the cat. <laughs> I thought you meant like, you had, <laughs> I, I thought you meant you had to put your hand in there and you're like, <laughs> you know, it's not that bad to cut your hand twice, but. Like, out, of all the, out of all the traps, I'll pick the carousel one where I witnessed four people yeah. die, but. You, well, you technically could witness six people die and walk out completely <laughs> true, unscathed. True. You could, true. You could. Yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't know what one I'd pick. Probably the breathing one, you know, I think I have solid lungs. You could definitely beat Hank. I've never smoked and, a cigarette in my life. So. If I'm going up against Hank, I'll take the smoking one. <laughs> yeah. If it's someone with healthy lungs, I'd take the carousel. Bring it. We'll do it. You take the carousel? Are you just going to let the people die, or are you going to do the two like rods in your hand? Rods in the uh, hand? It depends who's on the carousel. Oh, wow. Yeah. What if it was just a carousel of six Taylors? Well, then I guess I'm walking away unscathed. Whoa! <laughs> or, you know what, actually, I, I feel like the the one with the... No, I was going to say the one with the lawyer in, like, the the hell place with all the hot fire. You need to get burned. But, well, not necessarily, you know? If, oh, you if just the person past. holds the lever, but then you also have to chop someone open. I mean, the key could have been right there. So, I don't know. That one's hard to say. Plus, that one has the most, like, strict time, I would say. Actually, I think I... You know, I would prefer to just have to choose if I pull the lever or not. <laughs> oh, I, I guess that's technically a trap. And then you're going to have a crazy person coming after you with a handsaw. No, no. she meant the kid. He says he killed my father, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> it's technically a trap. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. And yeah. I would choose live so I didn't go to prison. That'd be that simple. I'd be like, you know what? This guy can I'd say I'd pick the role of the sister in that scene, but I don't know if she lives. She, the she, only way she lives is if William completes her games. They imply. So I guess Jigsaw would just offed her too. See, but like, so the, she lives then in this case. Right? So yeah. but how do they get out? So then I'd pick her. Boss. I'll pick her trap. <laughs> <Just, laughs> you're in a creepy room for a couple hours. <laughs> but you know what? I could probably get a lot of writing done. I could probably you know finish Dishonor or something. Would you pick that trap? <laughs> would you pick that trap if it was you like asked her you. and it was like the person had to complete the traps to make you survive and that person was Taylor. Like he had the hour oh, time shit. Um, I'm going to flat out no because Taylor's not. Taylor would break trap. down after Hank died. No, Taylor be like, I'm hungry. I can't go anymore, Jigsaw. Here's the thing. I wouldn't even. I'd let go of both the levers. I continue on. I just sprint across the whole thing. You, you would. You speed run it, and then I speed run it. You know, go for that. You would just kill everyone. <laughs> 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 Running by these, but well, then you got to. He would get to me. So. He would get to me at the One very end, and he'd kill me anyway because he thought he had to. It's those things, if you don't complete them... Well, no, if, go... if he grabs the levers and lets go, and then, oh, yeah. then, then he gets the key. If he just stands there and lets no, people die... No, Taylor would die because when the puppet hits the window, he would just freak oh, out. God. He would have a heart attack, and he would just go into, like, a, <laughs> a shock. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Should have done bombs. so much sm- smoking with him. It's a clown, and it's a puppet. I know, it's the worst the thing. The worst combination. <laughs> <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going with smoking. Nice slipper straps. Thank you. My feet are cold. Um, anything other notes before we drop a final... Drop a biggie? Our final thoughts and our rating, if anyone wants to give it. Uh, I have nothing I else. guess in my notes we can uh, talk about that. Obviously, the next one in the franchise is your least favorite. And the next one is god-awful. <laughs> cool. It is one of the worst horror movies of all time. I'm actually excited for that. It's the only reason why I'm somewhat... I'm obviously excited for Jigsaw, but I'm still somewhat excited to just rectify this one... I would have, or like seven, I would have much rather this have been the end of the franchise. For me, it ended on a high note. You could have just made Hoffman die there. I would have hated it because I'm a Hoffman fanboy, but the way it goes, oh, it's. If you like fought really hard and tried everything to get that thing off. Yeah, and, and he still goes. Anyway. Like, well, I want like a champ, you know? Like, you, I, I know, Dylan, you say like you're looking forward to it. It does have that bad movie quality. I'm looking forward to it because four and five weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. But and I didn't know what, this, what to expect from this one, and it wasn't. Really that bad? Four I like. Five is all I'm saying. But five, no, seven is notorious for people do not like it. Like, there's stuff you're going to be really disappointed by. And there's stuff, there's really bad acting. There is, like, I almost want a prayer for I might watch it today. I'm but gonna I'm not going to. Because you're going to, there's just going to be certain things. You're going to be like, wow, that's what they did. Okay. Like, Yikes. yeah. It's it's a tough you know, game. I'm gonna watch oh it my gosh. I'm excited. Huh? Take a guess at the rotten tomatoes. Is it below 10, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not good. Seven. No, it's nine. Oh, if um, it was seven, that would have been so poetic. Yeah. That would have been, actually. It's yeah. a good point. 
I'll go first. Final thoughts. I like I said, it's my favorite saw next to the other one. I love all the ties into the next past. To number one. Yeah, next to number one. Yeah, I love all the ties. When you guys say, oh, there's a lot going on. I love that. This is saw like on cocaine. It's good. It's just. I only watched it once. Oh, I know. Exactly. I think if you ever watch it again, you'll appreciate more. And I love everything from the little flashbacks, the morality they po pose. Yeah, it's a little dated with the healthcare stuff, but I don't think that's a bad thing because that shows like movies in a capsule. You get to go back and see what the topics were at the time. And when this movie came out, that was a huge topic was healthcare, insurance, and the healthcare crisis, all that. So it makes sense. So morality with that and the loan sharks, that was much more impactful I thought in this movie than others was actually like a tale of morality I like William and his story I really like the, the traps like I said some of my cons some of the traps the people in them and maybe the fact that a lot of people have to die don't like some acting and a few things we brought up like Jigsaw's meeting with Will a few things stick out like uh that doesn't really work but I will give it a 7.7 .7. Just two, a point two above Saw 2. Because I don't think it's full 8. Saw to me is the only one that's a full 8. But I I love this full movie. Eight. Hoffman, I always go back and forth. But he, I love him maybe just as much as Jake. So Hoffman, he's the reason I watch this movie. I could watch this movie over and over again. Because his performance is actually good. Like, it's not even from like a cheesy perspective. Like, he does a good job portraying this character. It's yeah, just like Tobin Bell. It's just like Amanda. And anybody could have flopped in this role. So And I love Costas Mandalore. I wish I saw him... In more stuff. He's just like a character actor on the side most of the time. So put him in a Star Wars movie. Put him in a DC movie. But I I love this movie. It's a... It's not a, a Marvel movie. So. Uh, he's darker, you know? So he needs he needs a red lightsaber. He or needs like, to be DC. Like 100%. As Hoffman, though. No one... He just comes in as Hoffman. But yeah, so it, it sounds like, oh, only 7.7. .7, but I love that 7.7. .7. Great yeah. movie. Yeah. If you uh, like the franchise. Yeah, obviously I don't give things numbers, but you you heard what I had to say. Like I have some problems with this movie, but overall, uh, I thought it was pretty decent. You know, like I I enjoyed it, and I I had more problems with other movies, and this one at least was like fun from like start to finish, mm -hmm. with the exception of like a couple couple boring scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Jill. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, this is a fun this is a fun movie, a, a solid addition to the to the series, to the world building up and adding to... It even adds, like, quality to the other... some other movies as well with certain points and finally getting some certain answers that we've been waiting a while for. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, my hopes for the seventh, uh, no. they're not high, but I... If you watch it, I hope I at least have know. fun watching it and, like, making fun of it. Oh. Uh, hopefully it's at least that... that good. Good-bad kind of thing. I just think you're gonna be so dis you're just, oh man. I'm not you're ready. Gonna, you're gonna feel you're not ready. I'm not ready. You're not ready. Yeah. It's crushing. Yeah. Let him go in with his uh, optimism, you know? If Blissfully you ignorant. Yeah. And uh, you'll just get drunk first. Uh, there you go. I will say that people are really excited because the same guy that directed this one came back to do seven. Ooh. But I think that's part of the problem because he wanted to do paranormal activity, but they wouldn't let him because they had him under contract, so he had to like reluctantly Direct Saw oh, 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, the classic, reluctantly after the Direct Saw 7. <laughs> yeah, the classic plot point. Classic. He said he was disappointed because he wanted to direct a movie his mother could see. Oh. So, Paranormal Activity is that movie? I guess. No torture porn for Mrs. Gruber or whatever. So. Mrs. Gruber. Yeah. Do you want to go, Taylor? You can go. So... Uh, I don't think he's ever done that before. Taylor's gonna Hoffman us right now. That's what it feels like. He's so quiet. Over I'm just there. gonna go get my coffee there. over here. And <laughs> yeah. <have> my pocket. <laughs> so, uh, this one is definitely yeah. It pulls it back up. It was really fun to kind of get some answers to a bunch of questions, and I definitely got the feeling like this one should have ended it though. Like the, there's not a whole lot of questions that are left besides like Doctor Gordon and the envelope. In the door oh, envelope, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, really, we're getting to the point where... And what happened to Obby? I'm, I'm still asking. <laughs> where is he from? Burns where, of Rage. Where is my Obby flashback origin scenes? No, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that illegal poker <laughs> ring. <laughs> no, what happened to Cecil? What? Did he die? I actually yeah, die. remember Jigsaw put him in that face trap with the knives? Yeah. Oh, yeah, face trap Yeah, it knives. didn't go well for him. He didn't get to be a Jigsaw <laughs> apprentice like Amanda. Yeah, no... <laughs> So this one, it's definitely if you've been kind of listening along or watching along and, you know, the last couple have got you down, this one's worth, you know, sticking around for. You do get a lot of the answers to it. There's some fun moments in it. Traps are, you know, there is the torture porn moments so if you like 
watching guys with guts drop out. There's don't bombs. eat the swallow eating breakfast. Or don't watch the swallow eating breakfast, which I did. Don't eat the, <laughs> the swallow eat swallow watch don't eat this while watching your breakfast. Don't eat the movie. Don't eat the while watching your breakfast. I did too, actually. I, I ate while I was watching that guy's guts drop out. I was watching it while well, he was cutting his fat off no. his body. Is that that doesn't bug me at all. I know it's all fake. If it was like a real, like, you're seeing this guy. Oh, that's actually like, real. No, real. Yeah, poor I actress. feel like, logically, though, people Stop would, like, that. go for the, the elbow first. But like, I mean, you... she starts <laughs> yeah. and then what? she's like, nope, I'll go in the elbow. I was like, you idiot. I feel like, yeah, that would have been the it's most logical risk. place to start. I would also like to say, no one, like, bothered to, like, take off their shoes or anything. And so, so like, this there. is like the pee or spit yeah, example. Yeah, throw your clothes in there and then pee down there and let the, the, it, more Get that body from Saw 5 again and you can <laughs> burn it. Oh, just throw her in there. So, yeah, just the little things. Just yeah. little things. Yeah, so it's good. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, get your hopes up for Saw 7 like Dylan. <sighs> um, <laughs> Big T. Big T. Why is he Big T? <laughs> He's not Big T. <laughs> You're so insulting. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Surround small T. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. It was, uh, you know... Why don't you just go wash your breakfast already, all right? Wash, yeah, you wash, wash, wash your breakfast. Sauce in peace. <laughs> and love it. Uh, <laughs> I cannot wait till you see this fucking movie. Oh. <laughs> it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. It's definitely up there. I'll give it like a... I'll say a seven. And I'd watch it again. Yeah. Very you and Kyle are the worst people. If you don't eat, you turn into a nine-year-old grandpa. I need to get some food. Yeah, and you should eat before because you know we you I and I were supposed to finish something before this, but now it's gonna have to get delayed. I did eat. No, I'll stick around. But I don't have Tim Hortons for breakfast. It. Not a substantial that, meal. That biscuit, I thought you know I'm gonna watch my breakfast. No, it was a biscuit sandwich with bacon and eggs and cheese. Not then enough. maybe you should get two. Maybe I should. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it will be next week when it drops. will be the end of the Saw retrospective. This is actually the second retrospective that ever finished. Finished Batman and Saw's next. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so next week we will Fringe be talking... Prophecy. Exact, our destiny. Yeah, yeah. Um, we will be finishing Saw 7. Tied with that, we're going to do, like, a Jigsaw preview. So, obviously, one still has seen how Saw 7 ends. We can talk about some of our own theories, our own Saw forum versions, and talk about maybe... If there's anybody that could be coming back, if there's any, like, also we know, once again, John Kramer's coming back, so how does that work? Like, he's he's listed in the cast, so it's like, how could those flashbacks work? Who could be uh, Apprentice, this or that? So we're going to do Saw 7, but we're also going to tie in a kind of a Jigsaw Predictions episode and talk yes. about some potential, talk about maybe some potential traps that could be happening. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but we won't watch the trailer again. I was going to say, even yeah, though we, the trailer comes <laughs> away. We, we won't watch the trailer and we won't talk about I'm the trailer. I'm not going to watch the trailer again. Yeah, we're not going to talk about the trailer because it's spoilerific. So we'll we'll just talk about our opinions. So Taylor, where can they find all the rest of our opinions on the interwebs? Well, after you've done watching your food, you can go onto the internet <laughs> in the search bar and you can type in. Facebook, preferably, and on Facebook. You can type in Facebook. You can type in Facebook. In there, you can go Geek vs. Space Bar Podcast, because it all comes under the space bar. You can end up somewhere else, and we want we don't want that. We want you to end up where we are. And where we are is great, because we got the our se- almost second finish retrospective, as he said. Mm-hmm. That's a huge pinnacle moment for Geek vs. Space Bar. Spider Man's still plugging away. Still you guys started a Spider Man one? Oh, oh my god! god. That really? has been going on for like a whole year! Yeah, that's. Really? Wow! Do you not watch your Facebook even? I do, I know you do. Have you ever like the... clicked on our fucking <laughs> SoundCloud? Yeah. Yeah. Do you iTunes? give us all the links to even check? You do the ones for the cartoon, but I thought, do you mean actually the movies? As yes, well? we did that in honor of Homecoming. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I knew you terrible. did the I knew you did the cartoon ones, but I, I forgot that you did one for the oh, movies. It's like no one listens. To Geek's crazy is done. Yeah, we and just can't. Yeah, yeah, we're sorry, and we're switching you to the Rubon. I'm still so hungry. Rubon. Just do what you guys gotta do. I just want to get some fucking food. I, you know what? I'm gonna have to say that this is rot. Oh. oh <laughs> that's Go for it. Too. That's canceled. Too. Get my punishment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Taylor said, well, don't listen to Taylor, because you should be checking out Spider-Man Retrospective. You should be checking out Netflix and Fail, Rod or Not, all the spin-off shows. We got lots of good stuff. 
Uh, Hunk, Hunk is going to be coming back next month. Uh, I Hunk's. hear that's going to be a good episode. Rant River Pete's They're really clamoring come. at our doorbells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, they're strange guys. Yeah. Rant River Pete will be making a return in kind of like a brand new sort of way. Um, 24 hour stream, November 4th, the first Saturday of November. Check it out, 9 a.m. PST on Twitch for sure. Maybe on YouTube. We're figuring that out. But the week of, we're going to have all the details sure. where we are. Yep. Head to Facebook. You can see all our details. Find out our goal, which is $500. Dylan's going to shave his head. B-A-L-D. If you hit it, any donation helps. $1, $5, $10, $100. $10. We don't care what it is. It goes towards a good cause. BC Children's Hospital and all the work they do there. And then join us November 4th. we got a Keeper's Gauntlet tournament where we have tons of games being played. It's going to be a ruckus madhouse of 24 hours of game. Slobber knocker. Sure That's Slobber knocker. There yeah, you yeah. go. That's a good one. And we're going to make sure Taylor eats because we don't want him like this for the 24 hour stream. He's going to be this little like bitch fest over there. He's going to... The, the bitch fest. The fans I'm, not, the BF. I'm, not, I'm not bitching. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next week for the final Saw Retrospective. Oh, and until so then, game, game over. over. Boom, that was our best <laughs> one. I came in there a little too late, but I, our, I made it count. Uh,